Um, thank you so much for not reporting my mother to the elders. I know it would have been a, 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 a different story by now. Please, we promise we are going to pay every single thing that has been damaged. You know, the, the issue here is that from the way you are sounding, you don't even know the gravity of damage you caused on my plantain plantation. Had it been I have been lenient to people who are careless, when they damage things, I will just leave them. I will not have been the biggest plantain plantation owner in this land. Your mother's carelessness has cost me a lot. And I'm telling you that your family must pay every single thing. You're not going to claim you don't know what I can do. You are going to pay for a broken one. It was a mistake. My mother is not careless. I know. She's not careless. Please, we are begging you. Please. Whatever you want me to do, I will do it. I can, I can, I can wash your clothes. I can, I can, I can, I will sweep the house. I will fetch you for your wood. I will do anything you want. As long as we live... Uh, uh, if I listen to this thing you are saying now, that means most likely you are going to spend the rest of your life paying for the damage your family caused. And if I should ask your mother now that she has to be paying me little by little for the damage, she will spend the rest of her life and she has not paid. But I have a very simple way to solve this problem for all of us. You know, you, I have always liked you. Right from the very first day I set my eyes on you, I have liked you. So I want us to just solve this problem once and for all. I am going to forget this damage your family has caused on my plantain plantation. Nobody will disturb you again. In fact, that will be the end of the problem. On the condition that this one here is going to be my wife. No, sir. This is a circle, my daughter. In line with your wish. And to be free from my intimidation and what she. I brought her here to be your wife. <laughs> this is the best decision you have made. Giving your daughter out in marriage to my best friend. <laughs> a very rich and wealthy man. Your daughter will be very happy here. Let me tell you something. In case you are not aware, he owns the biggest plantain plantation in this whole town. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome home. That's my wish. Yes, yes, yes. It's okay. I wish you success in this marriage. I pray you find happiness here. Share of my dear friends. We shall know peace from now going on. Look at her, standing in the very elegance of her beauty. You are like the morning star. I look into your eyes and the sun and the moon. They both rise in your eyes. Like a sheep led to the slaughterhouse, I have been escorted to my new home the home of a man I now hate passionately. A man that will forever remind me of my stolen rights, my stolen choices and privileges. Forced into a loveless marriage, I feel hell even before it starts. They say a girl's wedding day is the happiest day of her life. This is not for me. Mine is the saddest day of my life. I wonder if I can ever escape this. Can I have your hand, please? Give your hand. Give your hand. It's okay. Give your hand. Like your mother said, you are going to know peace in this marriage. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, my beautiful wife. 
Are you not exhausted? You should come into the bed. I am fine, don't worry. Sleep, when I'm ready, I'll join you. Why are you doing this? You should... Don't touch me! Don't touch me! You touched me now. Why? Why, why are you sounding as if it's an abomination for me to touch you? It is not an abomination. We are married. Listen, your mother has already declared you my wife. You are here in my house as my wife. Don't you get it? I am not your wife, no sir. You forced me to marry you. You blackmailed my mother and she forced me to marry you. No sir, don't touch me ever again. I'm begging you and I'm warning you for the last time. Don't touch me. Don't! Why are you saying this? I am your wife by mouth and not by duties. Why are you doing this? It's okay, we are married already. This is our first night as man and wife. We should be... Don't, don't, don't touch me now! Stop be, touching we me! We should be busy. Busy. Don't ever try that again. I'm warning you, don't ever do it again. Don't ever, ever touch me again. You didn't say that? I said it. Yeah, but you, 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 you don't mean it. I meant every single word. I'm tired, I need to sleep. You yeah, but sleep. It, 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 what you said is not coming from your heart. It's coming from my soul. No, sir. I'm tired, I need to sleep. Please, you have to sleep on the floor. I'm lying down here. Uh, uh, well, if you want us to sleep on the floor, I will just bring the mat down. Both of us will sleep on the floor. You are sleeping on the floor and I am sleeping on the bed. It is either both of us are sleeping on the floor together or both of us are sleeping on the bed together. You didn't hear me. You will sleep on the floor. I will sleep on this bed. Let me. I am not playing with you. I am not just playing with you. You of all people. How could you do this to me? How could you get married to that, to that Nosa? Why? How could you do this to me? Is it because he appeared to be rich and I'm not? Well, you don't say this now. You're breaking my heart, please. How could you say a thing like that? It's not because he's, he's, he's rich or maybe he has a plantation. None of that. My mother used me to pay off her debts. What do you want me to do? You know how much I love my mother. I can't watch this woman cry every day. I am sorry. Please. I thought you said you loved me. That woman snatcher. That bastard. Of all the girls in this village. He chose to take my insuken. I will make him pay for it. I will make him suffer. He's an animal! I have to go now. You know, I, 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 we are not meant to be seen together. I'm a married woman now. I promise you, this will not be for too long. I will make his life miserable. I promise you that. Please, I need to go I now. I wish this could last forever. I am deeply in love. And I can do anything to be with you. Peace of mind, that's all you've given me. And I wish this good. Where are you coming from? I'm asking you. Where have you been? I went at this one, she told me you did not come to her place. So where are you coming from? How is it your business? What? No, sir, how is it your business? Oh, you now go around the village looking for me like a lost child? A man comes back to his house, meets the absence of his wife, who was supposed to be at home, but who left without telling him where she has gone to. And as I'm talking to you, I am very hungry, starving, and she did not make any plan of what I'm going to eat. And you're not standing here telling me how is my business? Ah, no, sir. You just called me a goat. How? No, you just called me a goat. 
do I look like a goat that you will tie to a stick that whenever you go out and you come back, you will meet that same goat there? No, sir, you don't start starving, no. You have not started starving. How were you feeding when you were not married? When I was not married, you said it, I was preparing my own food by myself because I was not married. But now that I am married, it is the responsibility of my wife to prepare my meals. You can only get this when you get married to a wife that you love. You can never get that privilege from me. Marry who you love so you can enjoy the privileges. Don't ever try to stop me again, please. I am not done with you. Come back here. I said you come back here and tell me where you're coming from. What is wrong with this guy? Are you not going to join me? No, no. I'm not hungry. Enjoy your meal. Food is looking nice already. So nice. What in God's name is this? What is this? You, 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 what, you, you can't see it. The food you have served me. Can't you see the work I'm looking at? In the food you served? What is this? What gecko? In your food? That's what I'm seeing there. Uh -huh. So that was because of what gecko, that's why you're shouting. Can I ever, ever in my life make you feel happy? I will not cook, no complain. Now I have cooked. Just because you saw one girl gecko, one gecko you will just speak, suck, and throw away your complaining. Will I ever do anything that will make you happy? Will I? Why are you so wicked? This is actually beyond evil. Do you have God anywhere in your heart at all? Why is it that any small amount of peace cannot emanate from you? Why are you this, this mean? Why are you, talking? you know that I am hungry. And I have waited all day to eat something good in my house. And this is what you can say? Oh. No, sir. No, sir, you can never be grateful in your life. You will I... never be grateful. You married a wife. I cooked for you. You are complaining. You see this? This is what you will be getting from a wife like me. Mm. You will suffer, eh? By the time I'm done with you, by the time I am done with you, eat that wagon, suck it, throw it away. You are not hungry yet. When you are hungry, you will eat it. Take. Wash the wagon and eat it. Ah, ah. My friend. <laughs> How are you? Fine. I was going to your house. Where are you going to? On my way to see the latest bride in town. <laughs> and that happens to be you, my best friend. Mm. So, so tell me. How is marriage life? And please, I am only interested in your first night with him as a man and wife. You're so bad. You're spoiled. Which, which, see, that's my favorite life. Besides, there is nothing like first night or last night. Yes. You're joking, right? Come on, my friend. You are the envy of every girl in this village. And Nosa is the most wanted after Bachelor. And when you landed him, every other girl were mourning their one-sided love for him. You should know that. Yeah, they should marry him now. They should marry him. I have Uyi. You know how I landed in that house, right? You know how? My sister, I am no longer interested. All I'm thinking of right now is to escape from that marriage. I don't like him and you know that. See, let me tell you. 
it is better you appreciate what you have and hold on to it before someone else will take your place. Please help me take it. <laughs> hey, I bet. Do you want to go to the house or you want us to go to your house? No, sir, my good friend. <laughs> well, <clears throat> this is the first time we are chatting since uh, we got married. You see, you, you, you make me feel left out. Wow. I, I, I'm not left with all these damn cells. We let damn cells and come a lot. Does it mean you are not ever going to change? Change? When you sound this way, you make me recall how bad you were. And how bad you are even now. <laughs> hey, look at all these very beautiful damsels we have in this land that you have been spoiling all these years. Does it mean you will continue to spoil them? You don't have any plan of settling down with one of them as a wife? You are not getting any younger. Well, well, no, it's, 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 it's all right. <laughs> don't, don't rub it in. Eh? Uh, when, when marriage will come, it will come. Uh, let, let's leave that. So, hey, but mm, you're not getting any younger. I understand. I understand. Good, don't worry. Good. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> So, how is marriage life? Uh, is it sweet? Are you happy? <laughs> My very good friend. Yeah. Nice questions. If to be married is sweet, I am yet to see that sweetness. Oh. I, 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 am I happy? I am praying. I'm hoping that uh, I will be happy someday. I have not seen the happiness still. I don't like the sound of your voice. But I'm telling you the truth. Is there something you're not telling me? Is your wife okay? She's very okay. Mm -hmm. Very, very okay. So, two grown men will just sit down. All they are doing right now is just to gossip. Nothing to talk about in this village. It's me, it's okay. It's okay, my sweetheart. Why are you doing this? Uh -uh. You just came in now as a good wife, and you have just seen your husband's best friend yes. sitting outside here with your husband. My sweetheart, what you are supposed to do is to attend to us, yes. like a good wife that you are. I'm asking you now to go inside. Hmm? Bring dry meat. You know how to prepare it. Prepare the dry meat and serve us with the pan wine that your mother brought that I left at the back of the door. Bring the pan wine and the dry meat that you are preparing. And prepare it and come and serve us. I said, Bitter heart. Since when did this one start? I don't understand. Oh, you're trying to paint walls so it looks as if we are, we are so much in love. We are not in love. If you are pretending for him, we are not in love. Uh -uh. We are not in love. We are not like a normal couple around. We are not. We are not happy. Stop pinching him. Oh. We are not in love. See him now, sweet, talking me. You can bring your pan wine, your mother brought, talking as if everything is well. Is everything well in this house? Is everything well in this house? It is not well in this house, sir. Ha ha ha. What did you come here to do? Food. Yeah, it's food. That is why you are here. Why didn't you eat in your house? You are coming here in disguise of a friend. Coming here now, best friend. Where is best friend now? Food! You are coming here because you want to Enough of all this is okay. It's not food. I love you, tell him. No, no, no. How can you be talking to my friend like that? He right before me. If you're hungry, go and eat. This one that is sitting down here is not just my very best friend. He is the one of means in this village, known by everybody. You should accord him the respect that he deserves. No, sir. Listen, you, you can res disrespect me all you, all, 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 all you want, but don't transfer that disrespect to my friend. No, sir. Mm. It's all my fault. It's your. I will have to take my leave now. Thank you. But you are still sitting down, sir. Um, um, <clears throat> it's okay. I will not invade your privacy. Please. And uh, take it from me. You will not see me in your house for you to insult me again. Okay, sir. <clears throat> Fare thee well. Thank you, sir. Thank you, oh, go now. Ah, go. I will not change my mind to go and bring food. Go. I know that's why you're using time to sit down there. And go. There's no food in this house. Go. No, sir. It is well. It is well, oh. Ah, it is very well, oh. No, sir, it's well. It is very well. It is very well. Hungry man. It's my husband that will feed you. What is the what is the meaning of this? Of what? Why are you shouting my friend before me? Did I insult Calling you? this man a hungry man. Do you know who this man is? It's a compliment. What is the meaning of this? Do you blame me? Do you blame me? 
blame it on yourself because you will continue to see problems all the days of your life as long as I am in this house. No, sir, you've not seen anything though. Hey, hey, by the time I finish with you, no, sir, eh? you will fold your bag. In fact, you will not even carry a bag. You will run. It's okay, honestly, I am getting fed up with this. Why are you pushing me to the wall? No, this is exactly Why? what I want. I want you to be fed up. I want you to be pushed to the wall. So that when you are fed up, you will just say, it's okay, get up, it's okay, go, it's okay, go. But you are not saying it. Hey, it's okay, I cannot ask you to go because I love you. Why are you not giving love a chance? Hey. You can give love a chance. We can build this love together. I am doing everything humanly possible to make you understand how I loved you. I am prepared to go all out to see this relationship work. Why are you not giving this relationship a chance at all? Why are you scattering everything? So you're not tired of all these things I'm doing? Why should I be tired? Hi! Can anybody be tired of loving? I love you and I can't be tired of loving you. Hey! What is hey? It's okay, you can do it. I'm saying that you can actually do it. You understand? It's okay. Huh? What else will I do? What is it I should do that I have not done? Huh? Why can't this girl give love a chance? Why? Is my problem. Since I married her, it has been one problem to another problem. One headache to another headache. It is very clear to me that she has decided to make my life very miserable. I don't know where I went from. She was in love with her. I could always want her to my life. Give her time. Give her time. She will come around. And then she will come to know what marriage is all about. And trust me, she will be the best woman you ever hold. How I wish it will come to pass, just like you say. I love your daughter. And I want to have very beautiful food for you. My son, don't give. Don't give one. Fight for your marriage. Fight for your son. Give her time. My love, I've missed you so much. What is this wickedness that has been done to us all in the name of marriage? I cannot bear to be separated from you even, even for one day. Me too. Yeah, I miss you so much. I, 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 I just can't stand that, 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 that useless man, Musa. He irritates me. My life is a living hell. Do so you know whenever he, he touches me, it just feels like it just feels like there's a lizard moving on top of me. I've missed you. My love, what do I do to help? We can't continue like this. What do we do to free ourselves? Or what do you suggest we do to free ourselves from the obstacle to our love? There is no escaping in marriage. 
The only way we can separate is death. And I am not the one dying. Somebody must die. My love, do you want to die? No, you're not going to die. We must find a Shut way. Shut up. I am not dying. How am I even dating such a dull man? I am not dull. I am strong and sharp. Then think. Think. I am not going to die. You better figure out how Nusa will die. Yes. I am deeply in love. And I can do anything to be with you. Peace of mind, that's all you've given me. And I wish this could last forever. You give me peace and joy. I'm so happy to be with you. But I know I'm not who you think. It doesn't matter at all. All matters is love. What I feel for you. And I wish this could last forever. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why this attitude? Everybody in the village knows I am the one with the bad character. So what exactly is wrong with you? What is pinching you? Just the way everybody in the village knows and talking about how married woman is for licking with Uyi. I should be asking you what is wrong with you. Okay, this is why you're acting funny. That's why you're acting like this. Why drink herbs for another person's sickness? What is your business exactly? I want to know how it concerns you. How is this your business? It's my business because I'm your best friend. People are mocking me that I'm a friend to an adulterous woman and there is no difference between me and her. Okay, so now everybody in the village knows I'm in love with Uyi. They should deal with it, including you. Yes, because they must talk and I cannot hold anybody's mouth. <laughs> Meanwhile, what is the big deal? It is a big deal because you're a married woman. You're a married woman! It's better you get your act together. It's either you forget about Uyi or you forget about me. So, you want me to choose between you and Uyi, right? You already know the answer. Congratulations on your marriage, sir. May the God bless you with healthy children. He said, thank you very much. Thank you for your warm wishes. I appreciate it. You are a good man. And you deserve better. I deserve better. Are you by that saying that my wife is not good for me? You are not in a position to make that judgment. And you know it. I am sorry if I made you angry. But I cannot close my eyes to cheating. Everyone in this village sees and talks about how your wife and her boyfriend parade himself, hugging shamelessly. Are you telling me you're not aware of that? You see one problem I have with you villagers? People putting their mouths into things that do not concern them. My wife briefs me. Every time she's going to see him, I am aware of everything. They are just friends. You see, this is one thing with you villagers. 
You believe that once a woman is married, she will no longer be seeing her friends? Listen, they are friends. And I know everything, okay? Friends that all play publicly. Hey, 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 yeah. no, no, listen, listen to me. I don't know who briefed you. I don't know who sent you. And I don't know what you are driving at. But let this be the last time you will be discussing this. She's my wife. And I like her the way she is. And where are you coming from? No, if I should leave you now, you will enter inside this house as if you didn't see me. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Uji's place, right? Yes, I know you will be surprised. I didn't follow you because I have not had to be following you around. But the villagers told me where you went to. Oh, so you want me to be hiding now? I should deny it. I should lie to you. I will not lie. Yes, I went there. Because I am not going to deny it. I won't deny like other wives in the village. I will not. But let me tell you something. Since the entire village tells you every single thing that I do, do it. You see, eh? It is not as if I don't know that you and the Uji we are into something. And uh, it is possible that what you shared was beautiful. But I and need to. You chose to destroy it! You chose to come in between both of us! Now deal with every single thing that you see, Mr. Ndosa. Hey! You are my wife. You have my name attached to your name as your last name. You have to be very, very careful. I am a responsible man in this very village, known by everybody. And you are the one who they know as my wife. I am asking you now, Find a way to reinvent yourself into that position of the one that is a married woman. Stop making my family a laughing stock before the people. I am not going to warn you again. You will know who has been studying you. If you're looking for your wife, my girlfriend, here. She's not here. Well, I am not looking for my wife in your house because I know exactly where my wife is. She's in my house. Her home, where she belongs. Uyi or whatever they call you, I have come to warn you. Stay away from my wife. She is married to a man like me. You have to be very careful. You don't have any right to call yourself a man when you cannot take a woman for yourself and love. Rather, you chose to blackmail mine into marrying you. A man does not use a woman's problem to force her to himself. Hey, hey, hey. let me tell you something. I have not come to join words with you. I am going to keep this meeting very short. I want to go straight to the point. In as much as I know you are very stupid, but I know you are not deaf. I am certain you have been hearing the rumors making the rounds of what people are saying about Ishoke. If truly you ever loved Ishoke, you should stay away from her so as to save her dignity as a married woman. How dare you come to my house to question my love for Ishoke? How dare you? You're the one who does not love her. You keep her in your loveless marriage. Huh? It's okay. 
belongs to me. You use it's okay because she's so helpless and you keep her to yourself. You know what? I am going to free her from you and give her the joy and the happiness that she deserves. Hey, shut up, my friend. Shut up! Who do you think you are? To be talking to a man like me, you are a nobody. You have nothing, that's why. Look at the time you are still in your house doing nothing. When people who are very, very big in this community are somewhere doing something for themselves. You don't have anything. And that's why you are not able to pay the debt incurred by her mother. She is my wife today because of the debt. I want you to hide your face in shame and stay away from her. If you fail, the way I will handle you. I don't understand. Are you telling me no sack came to this house to warn you? That idiot. That wife snatcher came here to warn me. I used to think he's just a man that has plenty of lands and money. I didn't know he was this tough. So despite everything I am doing to this man, and more that I have to do, instead of him to get angry, he is even adjusting. We, we need to do something very fast. Else, I will be tied to this man for the rest of my life. That will not happen, my love. That will never happen. After his visit today, I'm even more ready to, to protect you. And I'm going to do that. The man came to my house to warn me. Insulted me in my own house. He is going to pay for it. He will pay for He must pay for it. I trust you, Uyi. Really. Please, make him pay for it. Hey. I will see you later. Hey. Hey. No, sir. Is this what friendship means to you? Oh, is this what you call friendship? The whole village knows about your relationship and what is happening in your house, yet you kept me in the dark. No, sir. But honestly, you are misunderstanding this. It is not what you are thinking. I have been the one trying to encourage you to settle down with a woman. I don't want to be the one that is still the bearer of the bad news, of the things that are happening inside marriage that may discourage you. It's just a small problem that is existing between my wife and myself, but I believe with time it will fizzle away. Are you referring to your wife's infidelity? Because the last time I checked, she was in love with another man, and after marriage to you, she still kept seeing this man. And now she, you're, you're being punished for it. Maybe it is my fault. Yes, it is my fault. Because it appears as if God is punishing me for taking adva advantage of a, a, a helpless woman. No. Leave God out of this. Your wife is punishing you. Yes, she is punishing you because you're not taking advantage of the condition that you laid down for her. Of course, yes, you got married to her. You, 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 you gave her a condition. And the condition is she will get married to you and you will clear that debt, which you did. So why must she punish you for, 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 for doing her a favor? You didn't take advantage of that. That is, that's my own belief. You are right. You are right in this. Many people do not know this, but you know it because you are my very good friend. I did not force her into this marriage. There was a condition. That's right. And they decided to play with my condition and she ended up being my wife. Yes. I don't, I don't know why all these things, I don't know why they are all happening like this, but trust me, I will do something about this. I, I need to be going now. I, I, I wish you luck. He has a large heart. He don't deserve this. Musa does not deserve to be punished like this. Me? Ah, I would have dealt with her long time ago.
We need to put an end to this. I will be free in the next life. And you will be free in the other life. No, sir. Sleep well. Because this will be your last sleep in the land of the living. I am very sorry. I wish you had let me go when I asked you nicely. I know you are not an evil man. And you have never killed someone before. That is why I love you. But if you kill an evil man, it will not make you a bad person. You know that. And it will actually make you a good man. You know, this is entirely your plan. Okay, so tell me how you want me to do it. I will leave the door open. When you get into this house, stab his chest. Wait. Are you confirming to me that he has no gun? Oh no, he doesn't have any gun. Forget about that thing. He just wants people to fear him. Do you understand me? Stab his chest. And let's run away. I am deeply in love. And I can do anything to be with you. I don't understand. Why are you being so nice all of a sudden? What are you up to? My husband, why are you talking like this? Because I need to know. I am rude. You complain. Now I am trying to turn a new leaf. I want to be the best wife I can ever be and you're still complaining. Why are you doing this? Can somebody ever please you? It is not the issue of not being able to please me. But I am still not able to... Reconcile what happened last night. Something very terrible could have happened last night. How do you explain that a thief will come to a place will not steal anything because the cloth got stuck? That's okay. Did you leave our door open last night on purpose? My husband, even if you, you, you think that I hate you. I do not hate you to that extent of risking my own life. No. No. Remember to set ablaze the cloth of that thief. I don't want to come back and meet that cloth in my house. Go well, my husband. Wait, wait, my son. If I get you right, you said you heard this train sound at the dead of the night. Mm -hmm. You walked towards the door and found the door wide open. And uh, this abandoned strange cloth. Exactly what I said, my good friend. That's what I saw. And uh, something from one side of me is telling me that could be a petty thief that was trying to do his thing. Then again, something from the other side of me is telling me, no, he's not a thief. It is something more serious than a thief. Are, are, are you suggesting that it might be a ploy 
after your life? Or the life of my wife? Oh yes! Something very terrible happened last night. We are lucky that we are still alive. That we survived it. And it's because of that I've decided today I am going to acquire a gun. Hmm. Eh? Gun? Yes, a gun. But, but don't, don't, don't you think you're overreacting? No, I am not overreacting anything. No, 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 no. My life is important to me. And the life of that beautiful woman that I am married is equally important. I need a gun to protect my life and her life. On that note, I'm going to discuss with the blacksmith to give me the kind of gun he has never given to anybody in this kingdom. Any amount of money I'm going to pay. You shall take it easy. No. Take it easy. I am going. And I'm telling you that I'm going to acquire the gun. It's as simple as that. No, sir. You have to apply wisdom. Well, I called you because uh, I got you a special gift. You see, eh, there are only four people who have footwears in this our village. I bought you footwear to make you the fifth person. You see, eh? The event last night made me realize that I have a wife who has to be secured. A wife who should be uplifted to a level of dignity. So that people around here will actually know that, yes, she is married to Nosa. That's why I got you this. Yeah? Okay, so I don't have dignity. I didn't say that. These shoes now will not make me have dignity. In no, this no, no, you don't understand. What I am saying is that uh, love has something to do with dignity. As in, it has something to do with your look, you know, one's appearance. So that when you step out, the people will actually feel your presence. That dignity alone, it attracts love. And that is what I want to surround you with. Uh, but at least you should be able to say thank you. Say thank you because it has a way of bringing satisfaction from the inside of one spirit. Huh? Thank you. If, when you say it, you will like it. For something you forced me to collect. How do I say thank you? No, I didn't force you to collect. I gave you a gift from my heart. And I want you to accept it from your own heart as well. Okay. Thank you is not a must. When you sleep at night, I wish you a bad dream. And I wish you do not sleep well. It's okay. You, I know you will like it. I will not stop trying. I will, I will keep trying. Until I succeed. I wish this could last forever. I am deeply in love. What is And I can do anything to be with you. Peace of mind, that's all you've given me. And I wish this could last forever. You give me peace and joy. I'm so happy to be Yes, it is a footwear for you. There are only four persons in this village that has this kind of footwear. And you are the fifth. Congratulations. This is for me? <laughs> this is not true. This is. And 
Nosa actually bought this for me. So please, you have to change the color so he wouldn't know. I don't want him to suspect. My love, thank you so much. I'm so happy. Thank you. So this is for me. Thank you so much. I owe you my love, my life. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. So why are you not wearing the footwear I bought for you? Um, I, I, I misplaced it. I think I left it in the, in the, in the market. I, I just know I can't find it. I don't know. You misplaced it? Yes. That's too bad. Should I now say you were careless? Because that footwear you just lost is very expensive. I am sorry, my husband. I'm very sorry. Anyway, can you get me something to eat? I am actually very hungry. My husband, I'm very tired. I'm very tired. I don't have strength to cook. Uh, maybe I'll bring Gary so you will soak. Or I can go to Mama and saw her. She cooked a very nice meal today. You will like it. You want to go and buy me food from a food uh, seller? Okay. You can go and buy me the food because I need to eat proper food. My eyes are already failing me for constant soaking of gare. So I should leave the gare? I need proper food. Okay. Well, you come and carry this one. I need this one here. Yeah. Say that you gifted Uyi the footwear your husband gave to you. So? No, tell me that my ears are playing tricks with me. What are you saying? Yes, you heard me very well. Do you know how long Uyi has been saving money to buy a footwear? Do you know? Ah, the moment I gave him that footwear, you needed to see the smile on his face. And you know I love seeing Uyi's smile. He was so happy. <laughs> now I am convinced that there is something wrong with you. Oh, yes. Uyi is very shameless. Did he even ask you how you got that footwear? Did he? Okay, now I think you need to stop insulting Uyi because Uyi has done nothing wrong here. I gave him a gift and he accepted and he was happy. What is his crime? Did I send my husband to give me gifts? Did I send him? <laughs> ah, my best friend. I think you should be taken to a priest. We are the flog out bad luck from people. Or better still, to a cleansy river so that your head will be washed. Don't talk to me again. From where did you get this footwear? What are we? Friends? Are we talking? Yeah? Why are you behaving as if we are friends? Are we friends? Or have you forgotten the insult you gave to me the last time I came to your place? Hey, hey, hey. I, yeah? I asked a question and I wanted to answer me. 
From where did you get this footwear that you are wearing? And what kind of question is that? Can't I get footwear for myself? Or you want to snatch it the way you snatched my woman? I'll snatch her. Oh, well, I am sorry. It's it just like, it looked like the one Isoke told me that she misplaced. Yeah, but if, if you got it by yourself, well, I, I'm sorry. What? Isoke told you she misplaced this footwear. I got it for her. No! Isoke did not misplace it. Why is she behaving like this? Why is she scared? Is she, is she scared of you or what? Okay, you want to know. Why am I even massaging your ego? Since you want to know, Isoke gave it to me. As a gift. <laughs> she wants to show me how much she loves me. She gave it to me to make me happy. Because I'm, real, I'm her real man. That is what you get from snatching somebody's wife. That is what you get. When you snatch people's wife, you get something like this. She gave it to me. So my leg will be shining. So my leg will be glittering. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. Where are you? Come out here now. Come out fast. Why are you screaming my name like a scorned dog? Why are you shouting my name like that? What did you just say? Why did you lie to me? You told me you misplaced the footwear I bought for you. Whereas you gave it to that hopeless who here. Why are you this stupid? A woman who has a husband, a woman who is married, why are you so shameless? <laughs> Tell me another thing, don't call me shameless. Don't even insult me this afternoon. Don't insult me. I am your wife. You should respect me. Respect is one thing you can only get when you will start to respect yourself. Listen, stop pushing me to the wall. Stop provoking me with your attitude. Because you're going to see my rot. When you finally push me to the wall, the way I am going to handle you, nobody will be able to recognize you. What I you am telling do? you. What do you want to do? Maybe you forgot. I did not marry you for love. Oh. I did not marry you for love, no, sir. You married me because of my mother's debt. Do not forget that. Oh, you still want me to pay with my life. Or you kill me. Kill me! Try it! You know, I have been trying everything within my power to show you love, to make you understand what we are doing. But it is something you are not even reciprocating. You know, people say nobody has seen the worst of a scorned woman. But the same people never bothered about the scorned man. No, 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 they don't know what the scorned man can do. I am warning you for the very last time. It's okay. Be very careful with your attitude. Because be warned. Be warned. This man is beginning to gain some strength. He's gaining some strength now. I better do something very fast. I better do something very fast. I, I don't understand. Which part? What is this? What is granite doing? Right. No, no. When did our people start eating granite, vegetable soup, and curry? Since when that one start? My husband, why are you doing this? Eh? I don't cook, you complain. Now I have cooked and you're complaining. Why did you cook? It's not, it's. This is granite and this is curry. Mmm. You put the granite inside, you pour the water, you soak it, it will travel to now rise, then you eat it. What is this? No, why are you so heartless? It's okay, I gave you money to prepare me vegetable soup and the garlic. 
banded guy. The money I gave you is the same amount of money that some men will give their wives in this village and they will manage for a month. That's the money I gave you to prepare me just one portion of vegetable soup that I will eat with well, well pounded Gary. And this is what you're serving me? This? Why are you so uncaring? Why are you doing this? Why? How? Why? How, how am I uncaring? With the kind of money I gave you? So, when I was coming, you didn't notice I wasn't working well. I've been ill since morning. I've been having headache, serious body pain. You didn't even notice it. Oh, my wife, what is wrong with you? No question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I didn't notice. Because you are not actually looking sick. Honestly. So, where is the money? Yeah, the money I gave you to prepare me the vegetable soup, as you didn't prepare the soup again, can I have the money? Yes, the money. I used it to buy herbs. I bought herbs, very expensive herbs. And I finished everything. You bought herbal medicine? Yes. From which of the herbalists? <laughs> oh, you prepared it yourself? It's okay, I know all the herbalists around here, in this village and even beyond. Am I not your husband? If you are sick, are you not supposed to tell me first for me to recommend the herbalist who will be treating my wife? Let this be the very last time you will, you will become sick and you are handling it on your own without, without telling me. Self-medication is unacceptable in this house. Do you have... Some energy still remaining in you? Small energy at all? No, I don't have strength. I can't cook. Uh, but you have enough to carry this out of my face. Carry this out of my face! Just manage this with my husband. Manage it. Carry this thing out of my face. How can this one tell me that she's sick now? Where did I go wrong? This one is not looking sick in any way. My love, thank you so much for the money you gave to me yesterday. It really saved my life. I wasn't expecting you to talk about the money. I was expecting you to talk about the food I prepared for you. I mean, I took all my time. Didn't you enjoy it? I love the food. I really, really, really do enjoy it. Yes, that's the food for the kings. And that is why I prepared it for you, my king. And if I should continue eating that kind of food, I'll be seeing the spirits, the real <laughs> human beings, and everything. <laughs> wait, wait, let me ask you something. Do you actually cook that kind of food for Nusa? No. He should probably be at home now, soaking Gary, or eating one of those stupid meals from Mama saw here. That she probably prepares for those useless men that cannot take care of their wives. Mm-hmm. That serves him right. Good. But when he dies and come back, he will learn how to take his eyes away from, from, from people's love. You understand what I mean? <laughs> I'm even still having the taste of that food in my Stop mouth. It. <laughs> no, sir. What is eating you up? Eh? You, you, are, you look so withdrawn. You are no longer your lively self. What is what's bothering you? My friend, I have very big problem at home. I don't feed well when I get home. I don't have peace of mind. Everything has to do with my wife. It is from one problem to another problem with my wife every day. Every day. No, sir. That woman will kill you. She will kill you. Let her go. Is it by force to marry a woman? Is it by force to be married? 
No. I don't understand. Kill who? Are, are you not taking this thing too far? No, how can she can she kill me? She's already killing you slowly. Oh yes. She's just killing you slowly. Slowly. Listen, think about your health, your life. You have your life to live. Please. We don't want to lose you. Look, take my advice. Think. Put on your thinking cap. Take this wise decision. Quit. You quit when the ovation is loudest. You don't kill yourself over a marriage. You know, this weather is very beautiful. Should I tell you that this is my best weather? Beautiful. So you just came out from the house. You don't even have anything to do. What you came outside now to discuss with me is weather. Well, yeah, your mother came to my plantation. She came to thank me for the things I gave you to go and give her. She was, she was very excited. So excited. In fact, eh, you know, I really felt embarrassed the way she was thanking me because what I gave you to go and give her it was actually very little. Oh, so you're begging now? You're begging now? How? You want me to kneel down here and beg you? Or rather, thank you? Okay, I should lie down and thank you too. I didn't say that. So what is the information for? Why are you telling me? Hi, it's okay. Your hatred for me eh, is, is so deep. 
So great. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I just feel like you finally coming to love me will be like a miracle. And trust me, I am ready to work for this miracle to happen. Oh yes, I am not ever ready to give up on us. I, am, I know that when I work so hard, you know, make more effort than the ones I am making now, you will surely start to love me. And then you will get to understand your position in my life as my wife. Eh? It's going to happen. I will patiently wait. But while I wait, there is no time. Uh, yeah, but it is going to happen. But what's it? Can you just look at this weather? Uh, while you're viewing the weather, I'm coming. That weather is beautiful. It's okay, uh, can we just, uh, just sit down? Just sit down. Honestly, I am, I am getting so tired of Mami Osoye's meals. I kept asking myself, when will I start eating proper food? I mean, the food that is prepared in my house. Like the food that a wife will prepare for her husband. When will I start eating that kind of food in this house? Oh. So you're now complaining? How? That is exactly what you're doing. You're even lucky. Mama is so I can cook very well. Left for me alone. You will soak Gary in this house for the rest of your life. I didn't ask for this, though. You did. I probably did not bargain for this. When I came to marry you, this is not what I bargained for. You did. But you didn't know. The day you came to marry me, that was the day you did that. You see, uh, that is something I've been meaning to, to tell you. And I think this is the best time for me to say it. <laughs> Tomorrow, mm. both of us, we are going fishing. It is not as if we need the fish. Of course, we have enough fish. And I have people who can always fish for me. But I just want us to be separated from this environment. Go to another environment where possibly we can rekindle this love. You know, it is always possible. Most of the big love that people refer to actually started from a very bitter background. But eventually they will overcome and they will create the kind of love that people refer to. Like I told you before, I am prepared to fight for this love. Fight for this love until you understand that I love you. Until you will decide to love me back. And then you understand your position in my life as my wife. So prepare. Tomorrow we are going. And I believe strongly that that will be where the journey of our love will start or where the journey ends. I like the smile. <laughs> I like the smile. Good. <laughs> it's okay. Yusuke, you are really very beautiful. <laughs> I'm not asking for too much. Just for a man to love his wife and the wife to love him back. He's not asking for too much. <laughs> it's okay, my beautiful wife. Be coming gradually. Just hold me so that you won't fall. Yeah. Be coming. Be coming. Be coming. <laughs> you see, eh? It's okay, my very beautiful wife. This is the river. And I am so glad that finally you decided to come with me for this. I am actually here to kill you. You are not saying anything, my love. Uh, um, uh, on one condition that you do the fishing 
and I do the paddling. Of course, I don't have any problem with that. This is it. Okay, thank you. I, I am just happy that we are doing this together. Mm. Trust me, we are going to catch very big fish today, and I will prepare fish pepper soup for you. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Come, let's go fishing. I will use the paddle and kill you as we get to the middle of the river. Easy, easy. It's okay. On getting to the middle of the river, she attempted to attack him with the paddle and she fell into the river. I have good news for you. And the good news is that your wife is not dead. Yes, thank the gods. How were you able to confirm that? Well, the divers have combed the bottom of the river and she's nowhere to be found. Okay, now I even confirmed from the priestess of the goddess of the river who said that the river has not claimed any life. So where then is my wife? Now that the divers have combed the river, and she's not there. We'll go to the next step. We'll comb the whole forest. I will mobilize all of them. We'll go in search of her inside the forest. She must be found. Trust me. What is wrong with you? What? Why is she staring at me as if I'm a stranger? It's okay, my daughter. What is wrong with everybody? My name is Esosa. My name is not Esoken. What are you people talking about? I don't have a mother. And this one here is calling me his wife. What is it? No, sir. What is wrong with my daughter? What have you done to her? something I explained to you. I took my wife for fishing because I wanted us to rekindle our love. And as we were fishing, I don't know what happened. She fell into the water. We actually lost her for hours. What are you talking about? My daughter went under the water. And you never told me. Oh no, we, we were looking for her. Even Egosa, my friend, he mobilized the services of uh, expert divers. They combed everywhere in the river. They couldn't find her. And then we decided to search the whole forest. Finally, we found her. And by the time we did, she had already encountered the goddess of the river and she has lost her memory. I did not encounter any goddess, and I did not lose my memory. What is going on? If you have not lost your memory, why are you not recognizing both of us here? I am your husband, and this woman here is your mother. At least you should be able to recognize the two most important people in your life. Okay, I think at this point, something is really wrong to both of you and not me. I don't have a husband. I do not have a mother. What is wrong with my daughter? What is wrong with her? What did you do to her? No, I, did, I didn't do anything. What That's what I said do? for you. We have been battling with this thing for so many hours now. I just said, let me call you. I was thinking that by the time you come, she'll be able to recognize just you. This is your mother here. Make it easy for your mother. I recognize your mother. It's okay.
What do you call this kind of situation? I mean, how could everyone mistake me to God knows who? I am not a sucker. Ah, the loss of memory is an excuse to replace me with a missing daughter and a wife? These people are really sick. I am not his wife. I am a Sosa, the daughter of late Okumbo. I have to tell him the truth. At least he has to be in the right frame of mind to listen and digest the information I have for him. He has to go in search of his missing wife because I am not her. He needs to know who I really am because I am not his wife. It's okay. prepared this for you. You know, it is my own little way of making you see whether you can recall what happened in the past. I told you back then that I will do everything within my powers to make you understand that I love you and that I remain the best husband any woman can have. You know, <laughs> I was cooking nice things for you then. I don't know if eventually I believe that by doing it now, you will be able to recall what happened before. This Isoke must have looked exactly like me. Um, you mean you were cooking for Isoke? Yeah, well, when I married her newly, I was cooking for her, you know, just to create the foundation for the love. Eventually, when I wanted her to become doing her job as the wife, to start to cook, she refused. Naturally, I am not supposed to be happy with uh, what happened to you because I feel guilty that I was not able to protect you when I was supposed to protect you. And my lack of protecting you led to your loss of memory. But I am happy somehow because it has made you now to become the exact wife I always wanted you to be. That's why I prepared this for you. Can you just eat? Take, take, eat, eat and confirm that you like it. It's exactly how you want it. I peel the yam and cut the vegetable and prepare this myself. It's very tasty. <laughs> There's actually something that we're supposed to put in it that I didn't put because I don't have it at home. Okay. Next time, <laughs> I will put it and then you will, you will know the difference. I'm here to remind you of the good time we shared together. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate. And um, I promise you I will remember every single thing. 
Yes. You are right. Starting afresh, knowing me again and your husband is not such a bad thing. The only thing I will miss is your bad mouth. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm glad you are getting okay. I'm fine. And um, you must be a very good friend to Isoken. You know, she must be very lucky to have you around. Wow. Thank you so much. Seeing how innocent you are and cute. Well, I guess not remembering the past is not a big deal. I'll try it someday. You talk about it's okay as if you're not the one. But I understand. Keep trying. You'll get yourself back soon. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's okay, are you okay? Do you feel pain anywhere in your body? Are, 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 are you fine? Are you okay? I, I am fine. I'm okay. I. There's something I need to tell you. I. I need to tell you everything about myself. I, I, I know everything about you. No, of course I know. You don't need to bother yourself telling me about. I know everything about you. Even before the memory loss, I. I. I, I know everything. But even now that you have lost your memory, it is still possible that your body and uh, maybe your your heart is trying to force you to say the truth. I know the truth, my dear, that you don't love me, that you never loved me. I know. But like I told you before you lost your memory, I am prepared to fight for this love. I am prepared to do everything to make you love me. I am prepared to do everything humanly possible to make you understand that I am actually in love with you. I said it then and I am still saying it even now. Um, are you saying Isoken was never in love with you? She never loved you? Please, just let me talk. I need to tell you about... I know everything. What I just want from you is that you give me a chance to prove to you that I am the most wonderful husband any woman will have. I just want you to feel very free with me and understand that we can actually be in love. That is what I want. Is this something you can do for me? You give me peace and um, joy. I'm yes. so happy to be with you. But I know I'm not who you think. It doesn't matter at all. All matters <laughs> is love. What I feel for you. You know? And I wish this could last forever. I may not be a good cook. But I know you are going to enjoy this. If not for anything, you have to enjoy it because of the love I invested preparing this for you. This smells really nice. Mm. Yes, I'm sure you will like it. It's really nice too. You need to eat. Eat very well so that you can regain the strength you lost in the bush where you had no food, where you had no decent meal. Eat. My husband, you are really a very good man. And his soccer also is a very lucky girl. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. Thank you for everything you do for me. I love you. And I'm so happy hearing this from you. Eat. Look at this meal. I have not had this good food in a long time. This house is definitely comfortable and this man is spoiling me really. I wish I never have to wake up from this dream and this disguise of memory loss. I just wish this was my life. It's okay, it's one hell of a lucky woman. But I am not her. I just hope she's been protected and not in danger. I think I need to stick around and still play a little longer of the memory loss while I enjoy this life. I love Isoken's life. Yeah, I'm not touching this one. <laughs> the 
This one is the bitter that steps it down. So when you eat, you eat this one as well. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Mm -hmm. you eat more. I like the way you're eating it. Thank you. That means I'll prepare more of this. There are so many other things I'll prepare for you. for you to wake up before I start going to work. At least to see you smile. You know, your smile gives me good luck. You always say nice things to me. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my dear. <laughs> I probably made you breakfast. So you will dish out and eat when you are ready to eat. Okay? Again, the same thing you did yesterday. Listen, you are the woman who means the word to me. Preparing breakfast for you should actually be part of the things I'm doing. I don't have a problem with that. Okay? Thank you. And they will equally bring you lunch. Someone will bring you lunch as soon as the sun is in the middle of the sky. Very wonderful lunch with plenty of bushmeat. You will like it. No, this is the one I will not accept. No, sir, I should be the one doing this for you. I should be cooking for you, not the other way around. You have worked so hard. You deserve a meal from me. At least I should be doing all this for you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, but the lunch is already booked. So they are bringing it. Plenty of push meat. You will like it. Just this one time and that is it. Smile for me. Now I am ready to go to work. Okay. Have a nice You are welcome. <laughs> Beautiful wife of mine. Okay. Don't go near the gun. The gun is loaded. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually good to encounter the goddess. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really shocked, and I'm surprised. And I, I want to thank you for inviting me for this lunch, and. Uh, I'm shocked. From the depth of my heart, I'm shocked, but I want to appreciate you. Thank you so much. You don't need to appreciate me. I'm doing this because of my loving husband. And you are his best friend. You are one of his most loyal friends. I don't even know how to show appreciation. I just feel you should manage this meal. Wow. Coming from you? <laughs> what are we? It's shocking because I thought... You hated me so much, and you never wanted to see me close to your house. No, that was in the past. Why are you bringing it here now? This is a new era, and we should be enjoying the beautiful wife that the girls have given me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Must have really been a very terrible person. I mean, nobody speaks well of her. Why? You, you see... You, you talk as if both of you are different. You see, the goddess of the river must have done something great. You see, uh, loss of memory is to an advantage. Hmm? Can we eat? Eat your food, my good friend. Uh, my wife is my wife and uh, it's, it's, a, it's okay. It's, you don't want to join us? It's okay. <laughs> I'll just uh, watch you eat. Mm -hmm. uh, so sad. Mm. Two of the kind, eh? Yeah. <laughs> 
It's, it's good. Good meal. Eat. You give me peace and joy. I'm so happy to be with you. But I know I'm not who you think. It doesn't you matter my friend. at all. All matters is love. What I feel for you. And I wish this could last forever. You know that. You are welcome, my husband. Um, welcome. Actually, I um, you had a good day. I know you're going to tell me about everything. Sit down while I run your shower. Then I prepared your favorite meal. <laughs> yes, I did. So after taking your bath, you eat and you tell me how your day went. Sit down and wait. <laughs> Sit down. I'll just... Married woman, don't touch me like that. It's Who okay. are you? It's okay. What is wrong with you? Who am I? How? Are you the one asking me this question? Is that your latest joke? And, 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 and since when do you acknowledge yourself as a married woman? I ask again, who are you? And what do you want? Oh. What has Nosa done to you? Nosa has used charm on you, so you forget me. It's okay, it's me, Uyi. Your lover. The one you intend to spend the rest of your life with. It's me. It's okay, had a lover. No. But it's okay, he's a married woman. How can it's okay date somebody like you? No. That's not true. What are you saying? What is happening? Am I dreaming or what? Am I just dreaming or what? What is going on? You don't love him! Have you forgotten how we forced him to marriage because of debt? How he separated us? Now he has come between us to brainwash you. It's okay, it's me, your lover, Uyi. I've missed you. Don't you touch me! Don't touch me! It's okay. Now listen to me and listen carefully. Do not ever touch me again. I don't want the villagers to see me. I'm a married woman. I don't want your troubles. Please. Please, 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 please. And I wish this could last forever. You give me peace. Finally, I am enjoying. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's something my my mates who are married have been enjoying all this while. Yeah. You know, I prayed to the gods of my ancestors for a day like this. A day where they will make me to start enjoying my marriage. A day when my wife will be a wife indeed. Finally, the day is here. Um, are you saying it's okay, didn't like you? She never loved you. You see, uh, 
all that is in the past now. I am very sorry. I am truly sorry from my heart. The important thing is that you have changed into that woman I want you to be. So let us not bother ourselves with what happened in the past. The important thing now is that the marriage is working and we are happy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Who is we? You met him? Where? When? I mean, how? I, 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 I met him on the road. He, he, he stopped me. He was just talking rubbish. He said, um, he said we used to be in love and um, that I used to love him. But I told him he was talking nonsense. That Th thank the gods. Not me. Thank the gods you realize. And I told him I'm a married woman too. Beautiful. Thank the gods that you were able to tell him you are a married woman. And that you give, didn't give him attention. You see that we is a fool. A very big fool. Don't worry. You see, your memory will come back. And you will realize that he is actually a very big fool. It's okay. You are such a fool. The gods gave you a good man and you chose to run after this trash. Nosa is everything any woman can dream of. Loving, caring, understanding, gentle, good looking, and even rich. It's okay. What kind of head do you have? I am disappointed at you and I am more disappointed that you look exactly like me. But I am not stupid and senseless as you are. I know what is good and I will keep this. The love you refuse to give to your husband, I am giving it back to him. He is a good man and he deserves to be happy. I will never forgive you for cheating on such a nice man. I think I have fallen in love with this life. I think I have fallen in love with Nosa, excluding the part where Uhi is involved. I will never go back to that part. And I wish this good last forever. You give me peace and joy. My friend, where I'm are so you? I'm so happy to be with you. But I know I'm... Hi, oh, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. Wow. See who is trying to be a good wife here. But it's still noon. And you're already making dinner. Why are you sounding like I am a very terrible person? You're, you're making it like you're, you're blowing it bigger than it is. My friend, I know you don't remember a thing. But I tell you, you are the worst wife anyone could be given. You maltreated him and shamelessly move around with Oi. Okay, if you, my best friend, could be saying this about it, okay. I wonder what the villagers will be talking about her. She must be a very, very terrible person. My friend, that does not matter anymore. What matters now is that my friend is trying her best to be a good wife. <laughs> Besides, none of us is perfect. Also, you used to badmouth me. <laughs> I wonder if you lost that with your memories. <laughs> okay, now this is okay. Must be a very rude person. For you to be saying this about her, come on, she was your best friend, right? There you go again, talking as if you're not the one. You are, it's okay. I know you don't remember anything, but continue to build your home. Soon, you'll find your complete memories. <laughs> I've missed you, my best friend. <laughs> I've missed you, my best friend, forever. Exactly what you used to call me before the accident. Hmm. I'm glad you are recovering bit by bit. <laughs> Take care of me. No, of course. <laughs> no, sir. Is this you? This is me. Look at you. Well fed. You are now looking like a married man. And that is because I am indeed a married man. No, it's because uh, they are feeding you well and they are treating you very well. That's why you are looking like this. <laughs> and looking at you, <laughs> I am tempted to get married myself. <laughs> <laughs> you go, sir, my friend. Sit down. 
Thank you. Sit down, let me tell you something. Hey, I'm listening, I'm all that, It's actually good that you raise this topic. Mm. You need a wife. Oh yes, you need a wife to experience what I am experiencing now. Do you know every day, mm. once I get home, mm. a fabulous meal is waiting for me. You don't see. I can't remember the last time I soaked Gare. Hi. It is one good meal to another good meal, and I am just enjoying myself. <laughs> I'm happy for you. You see, my wife. I, I don't know if I if I, I sometimes I feel guilty when I think this way, that the loss of memory is actually good. Because the wife I have now is a complete departure from what she used to be. This mm. so compassionate and so loving. Mm. She takes care of me. She does everything how a wife should do it. <laughs> you already testified that I am looking so good yes, and everything. Because she is good. I can imagine. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I should pray that her memory should not actually come back mm -hmm. so that she can just remain like this. I don't know if I should pray that kind of prayer, whether I am guilty. No, sir, you are not guilty. <laughs> you see, finding love and happiness, and you call that one guilt. And you want it to stay like that. You know, then your guilt has charged. My friend, forget about this guilt. Yeah. Listen, enjoy this moment while it lasts. Mm. This is your time. <laughs> yes, enjoy it. I am praying for you to have this kind of wife that I have now. Mine will come at the right time. <laughs> Anyway, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. I'm so, happy that, for you. so that you can have a wife who can cook the best of food for you. Look at all these your bones that are showing. Everything will come out. Everything will just disappear. <laughs> Everything will come out. And I like, I like slimmer men go for fatty men. You know, I like that. I like yeah, but that. if you marry this kind of wife I have now, even if you are a slim man, she's going to cook you out. <laughs> I don't want memory loss. Oh. <laughs> What are you doing here? What do you want? Why are you doing this to me? You have to leave now before Nosa gets you here. Why didn't you tell me that you lost your memory and you cannot remember your mother? And Why? If I do, well, we have nothing to do with you. Blah, blah, blah. Don't tell me that I don't want to hear it. You love me. Yes, I know you love me and I know you can kill for me. I know you can die for me. I know you can do anything for me. Why are you doing this? Oui. Or whatever your name is called. I will never, ever leave my husband because of you. Take your sorry self and leave this place now. It's okay. I will go. But I will be back and continue to remind you how you love me. You love me. Yes. You love me. Please don't you come here me. again. You love me. And you know it. You love me. Were well, you able to eat this? Yes, I mean, you, you ate this, you liked it, and you didn't throw up? No. Does it make one throw up? <laughs> because this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The last time I bought you this, you told me that you don't like beans balls, that it makes you sick. 
So, does that mean you lost your memory and you did not lose your your test your test of food? You, I mean, your test of food is actually intact. Um, my husband, all these big terms you are using, I don't understand. What I know is I am enjoying this <laughs> meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I need you to understand that a lot of things, a lot of things have changed about you. I mean, your behavior, your understanding, your personality, your test board, even your complexion, everything has changed. You know, this is actually an interesting moment that somebody will lose, you know, lose the person's memory and they will not lose the, the test of food. It's actually amazing. And I'm happy you're enjoying this. Mm. You like it, really. It's okay. How will I explain that I'm not who you think? What will I do to be? You know, eh? I know you will not remember because you lost your memory. <laughs> This is for you. But I, I gave you something like this before. You told me you misplaced it. Whereas you gave it to that useless boy called We. I have given you another one again. Because I want you to start feeling yourself in dignity as a woman who is married to a man like me. I want you to wear it always so that I will, I will know you are secured both physically, spiritually, and otherwise, even when I am not there. Wear it. <laughs> Thank you so much, my husband. You don't need to. No, I have already forgiven you. I know what happened. But this is a new us, a new you. And I'm so happy. Yeah, you don't feel happy yourself. <laughs> Look at it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. I will continue to present you with beautiful gifts. Oh. So that you will, you will continue to give me this kind of hug. <laughs> yeah? It's so beautiful. Yeah, because you are beautiful as well. You are so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Nice. I, I have to be going now. Okay. So you have to take care of the house. Okay, and then um, I'll prepare your best meal for you. I know you will. <laughs> I have big people that are coming to buy plantain from the plantation oh. today. So I need to go and organize the quantity they will be needing. See you. Hi. Best of luck. How will I explain that I'm not who you think? What will I do to be with you forever? Please don't let it go. My friend, I never knew a day will come where I get to tell you that I'm so proud of you. The village is singing praise of you. They said you have transformed into a Good wife. And now your husband is looking so good and happy. Hmm. Okay, so was it's okay that bad that the whole village now noticed her changes. I don't understand. Here you go again. Why are you always trying to play the third party? Hmm. I can see the footwear your husband gifted you. Oh yes, I am so excited. My husband is a very good man. Hmm. So it has been my friend being the attitude married woman all the while. The last time he gifted you, you gave it to Uwe. But I'm glad at least you were able to say something nice about him. That means my friend has changed. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. I, I, I really appreciate it. It's nice. Yes, it's nice. And I wish this could last forever. You give me peace and joy. 
I'm so happy to be with you But I know I'm not who you think It doesn't matter at all All matters is love What I feel for you And I wish this could last forever Why did you do that? It's me. You again? Yes. Now this is exactly what you get when you sneak on people. This is what you get in the process. I have warned you before. This is not you talking. This is loss of memory disease talking. I told you I would not stop until you remember how and where we fell in love. We. Oui. Yes. That's your name, right? Okay. You will go home. Take a cold bath and think. Because you see this, it will never happen. I love my husband and I will never leave my husband for you. I don't know the part you don't understand. You claim you want me to be happy. I am happy in my husband's house. Why not let me be? Why are you doing this? Eh? This is not about love. What about pride? I'm not going to let Nusa win me after insulting me the other day. I will not let that. You love me. You hate him. Yes. We were planning to kill him. Yes. So we can be together. You remember the, the, the night you tried killing him, but you failed. You opened the door for me to kill him. So we can run away and be together. You and Isoke tried to kill Nosa. Is this, is this, is this what loss of memory disease cause? It makes you, it makes, it makes people think and think other things and talk like another person and you just forget yourself. Is this how it is? My love, let me tell you something. Now listen, every disease has a cure and the cure to this your disease is my love yes our love is greater than this thing that is happening to you I, 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 I will give you back to myself again I love you I love you I love you. after this wonderful meal are you not supposed to be happy? Why are you still looking downcast? What is the problem? No problem to me. I've been meaning to ask you this question. How far did I go to chase you away from me? Oh God. Why are you remembering the past? This is a new you. We are moving ahead. Can you forget about the past? Did I ever try to kill you? How far, like, how much did I try to push you away? I just want to know. Okay, I will tell you. You were very mean towards me. You never loved me. You hated me so much. You despised everything about me. You spent my money recklessly. And the most saddening part of it is that then you never allowed me to touch you. But I was then. But you never attempted to kill me. No. Because it is not in your nature to do that. You, you, you. You are not that kind of person that will think of killing somebody. No. But why are we dwelling in the past? I promise you, I am going to love you for the rest of my life. It's a promise, my husband. Look at you. Talking as if you are somebody else. It is still the same you wish, okay? You love 
lost your memory. I know, but it is still you. I know that everything will eventually come back to drama, but I want to plead with you. When it finally happens, when you recall everything, don't hate yourself because of it. I want you to forgive yourself for every single thing that happened. See that as an error in our relationship that came and went. You understand what I'm saying? You can take this thing back. And let us start to prepare for wonderful sleep tonight. My very beautiful wife. <laughs> She's such an amazing beauty. You can actually say that again. <laughs> it's okay, your daughter is the best thing that happened in my life. <laughs> oh, mom, man. There she comes. <laughs> my husband. Thank you so much for loving me the way you do. Mama. This is the best thing you have ever done for me. Yeah. I love my husband with my life. Oh, <laughs> Mama. <laughs> yeah. Mama, I, I prepared this lunch for all of us to eat as a family. I know you haven't eaten today, right? Right. Right on time. And I'm very hungry. <laughs> but I, 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 you have changed. You're no longer the, the cheerful is again. Did, did this change everything? Well, I don't know why you are saying that. Because there is nothing wrong with this beautiful woman standing before us. The only problem she has is the memory loss. She has no problem physically. Look at her. Look at how elegant she is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, put this on. Eat. What's that? Bimbo. Baseball? You have never eaten it before. You can't even stand the sight of it, let alone bite in from it. By now you should be throwing all the food in your stomach away. What changed? Um, yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's what happened to me. But with time, I'll, I'll get back to myself. <laughs> That's strange. It's very strange. How will I explain that I'm not who you think? What will I do to be with you forever? Please don't let it go. What we share together. Please don't let it flee away. Uh, what we've been through. What was wrong with your mother? Yeah? She wasn't looking happy when we were leaving. But I know she's going through tough times. You know, it's it's really sad staring at your daughter and she's looking at you strangely. I know she cannot recollect all the beautiful times that we have spent together. She has totally forgotten what happened. You know, you are right. It is really tough on your mother. And equally tough on you, and I believe. That is why you have taken the measures you have taken. 
But you need to know that it is not your fault. And uh, this is equally not a permanent situation. I want you to recover. Recover quickly. Recover your memory so that your mother can be happy again. Eh? I need to leave now so I can prepare for you. What do you need? I can prepare anything for you. I like the sound of that. And did you just say anything as in anything? Anything. <laughs> I like what beautiful women say that. And when you say anything, I am actually thinking of either everything. It's okay, you don't understand. You have been sick for some time now. And uh, you are not even wondering why I am not so bothered. Because this sickness is good sickness. Eh? <laughs> what do you mean by good sickness? Is there anything like good sickness? No, sir, you play too much. No, no, no. You know, what I'm saying is that your husband is an intelligent man. And I have acquired experiences over the years. I know a whole lot. And having observed you for days now, I know you are expecting a child. The issue is that it's okay. You are pregnant. <laughs> yes. What? You are pregnant. Thank God for this. Thank you so much, my husband. That is why you are... Throwing up all those uh, every time you eat you throw up. You are pregnant. And you shouldn't be thanking me. <laughs> I should be thanking you for making me the happiest man. And yes, I am going to be a father. And you are going to be a mother. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You see why I say it's, it's good sickness? Good sickness. <laughs> I don't mind having you sleep on me all day. I don't mind sitting down here like this and you are sleeping on me. What do you want? What are you doing? I'm not telling you that. You know you don't teach a whole person. Don't come up. You know, this is why the elders are all a different people. You are the only one who can figure out exactly who you are. What about it? I have come to see the things that you can do with your And I know you will love to do it. You didn't just steal my daughter's name. You stole her life. You got pregnant for her husband. Where is she? What have you done to her? I don't know anything about it. I've only heard so much about her. I heard she looks exactly like me. And the people that describe her are so real. Wherever she is, I do not. But until she is back, I am going to be and I'm taking every single thing that belongs to her, including you. Let's say that stupid boy called you, who you refuse to see, who says it to you, you need her in your I will tell the whole world you are king. I will tell you that you lied to him. It's because you are fake. You will not be so Child, this time, what is the grandmother? She was 
Egosa, my friend. No, sir. I am going to be a father. My wife is pregnant. Osaluba! Eh? <laughs> Osaluba, I thank you. I thank you, Gosa, for our land. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy for you. I know, but I... I kind of... I feel guilty. You know, guilty? Yes, I feel guilty that my wife will eventually, you know, regain her memories. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to remember that she told me that she does not want to have anything to do with me. And then she's going to discover that uh, she is now with a child. The problem I have with this, it is no longer between just my wife and myself mm. and our problems. Mm. There is an innocent child who is now involved. And is that why you are feeling guilty? No. Tell me. Is, 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 no, is, 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 it, is it not enough? No, listen, listen to me. You know, I, I have a problem that Isoke will eventually regain her memories. Mm. And then when she regains her memories, she is going to remember that she told me that she does not want to have anything to do with me. Yes, and then it would dawn on her that eventually when she lost her memory, mm. when she no longer remembered what she told me that we should not do anything, that I took advantage of her. And and then she became pregnant and then she has a child. She may never ever forgive me. You know, it's, it's, it's a very big problem for me. No, sir, you worry needlessly. Why? What you are thinking of may not happen, no, no, sir. That is the truth. This child will turn out to be a blessing to your marriage. So, why worry? My friend, enjoy this sweet moment that God has given to you. Enjoy it. I hope for the best. Don't ever think negative about your life. Life is too short to enjoy yourself, my friend. Enjoy. I'm happy for you. Enjoy you. Enjoy you. <laughs> yes. Enjoy. What, wait, 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 wait. What, what is chasing you? Why are you running like that? You, you miss me how? What do you mean by what is chasing me and why am I running like this? I haven't seen you for a month now. And you're reacting like this. What are you saying? I just saw you two days ago and you're telling me I've not seen you for a month now. Me? Two days ago? Will you stop playing? Stop this rubbish now. I have not been around for a long time now. This is almost a month, yes? I've been running around the villages trying to see how I can get here and all I was thinking was just you. I, and then you're reacting like this. I don't understand. The story is getting big. You just said I've not seen you one month ago. I mean, what are you saying? Are you okay? You are very sure you're alright. You saw me. How? Yeah. We spoke two days ago. We saw each other two days ago. And, and, and you're here telling me what I don't know. Why? Are you okay? Is this what the disease can do to you? What is this? What are you talking about? Uyi. Okay, now do not tell me you are seeing another person because this reaction right now, I don't get it. If you're not the one I saw 
two days ago and I spoke with two days ago. Then, who was the lady I saw that is looking like you? Just exactly like you and even living with your husband. Unbelievable. This explains my confusion. I mean, it all makes sense now. Did you recover your lost memory? Idiot. I did not lose my memory. You're such a disappointment. So you cannot even differentiate me with another woman. I said the people chasing me were from the neighboring village and they kept calling me a Sosa. I don't know why, they just said, I mean, started chasing me. They said I did something in the village, I, I, I don't even know. Now this is making sense to me. Mm -hmm. No wonder she hated me. Said a lot of things. Mm. You know, she she said some things that surprises me, and I knew that my Ishokin would never say such a thing to me. She's in love with your husband, and people think you're the one. We, this is the perfect time for us. Yes, let's run away. I need to leave this village. So we won't have to, you know, bring confusion and all of that. Let's leave this village. Let's live our life somewhere else. Let's start afresh. This is what we've been praying for. This is an opportunity. We have to use it now. Talking about. What sort of question is that? You left here a few minutes ago. How come you changed so quickly and returned here? So what do I owe these two visits from you today? Hi, I've missed you, my friend. I missed you so much. Why are you acting so important? Oh, because I said I miss you, right? Did you drink something? Or did you smoke something? Because you're acting strange. We have said our goodbye today, and here you are saying you missed me. Um, right now you're asking too many questions. I don't understand what you're talking about. What's going on here? Why are you feeling too important? Because I said I missed you. Go away. Ha. Huh. You sound familiar like your old self. Tell me, did you regain your memories? Can you now remember the past? Is that why you came to see me? Can you remember everything now? Adesua, I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. I, I don't understand anything right now. I'll see you later.
How can I do? When I couldn't tell if my daughter is still alive, a fake has your face. Has your life. Has your life. I couldn't, I couldn't feel alright all this time. She, she, she threatened to expose my attempt to kill your husband. What? Yes. We his loud mouth. I probably told her everything, thinking she was you. And she threatened to bring you down alongside with her if I told the truth. So I had no other option than to keep quiet. There is something about that girl that just confuses me and his mind. But you think I almost took her to this? She is living my life, I know. I'm glad you are back, Abigail. You have to go back. Go claim your way. Your life. She's living with you. As you speak, She's pregnant for your husband. Which of you am I up against? The socket of the other woman. Because my love would never look at me like that, with that anger on that face. Oh, shut up. If you act stupidly, she will look at you exactly the way I'm looking at you right now. What is wrong with you? Oui. What did you say to Esosa? You told her something and right now she's using it to blackmail my mother. I am not following. What are you saying to me? If you did not open this your stupid mouth to tell her how we planned to kill Nosa, how would she have known? Do you know if she opens her mouth to confess we could be killed for this? I, I, I didn't know it was not you. I didn't know. I was only trying to jog her memory of what we shared together. How am I supposed to know that you're two in this world? How am I supposed to know? So what are we going to do now? We need to run. We need to go. We need to leave this place. Let's start a new life, please. I can go with you. There's a lot of things you need to know about me complicated things. How is it? <laughs> it's getting faster. Are you... Are you always like this? Or where did you learn this from? I don't understand. What are you talking about? I mean... You always derive pleasure in sitting down with me in the kitchen. If you don't help me out, you'll be the one that wants to cook. Like, did you learn this from your father? Listen, when a man loves a woman, as in when a woman makes a man happy, he will go out of his way to sustain that happiness. And uh, you are that woman who makes me so happy, and that is why I'm doing this. <laughs> I am so happy I'm carrying your child. I love you so much, no sir. You say the nicest of things. And I love hearing you say nice things like this. You make my heart when you sound this way. I'm talking about the baby. <laughs> there is something I got for you that will help the pregnancy. I will, I will just get it. Okay. I'll just get it for you. You will like you will like it. <laughs>
Why are you shocked? I ask you, you dummy, why are you shocked? You're shocked to see me, right? The woman you have been sleeping with her husband, cooking in her home, and claiming her name. You fool, what are you doing here? Okay, I, I knew this day would come, but I didn't know, I, I, I mean, you are exactly like me. My eyes were not feeling me after all. I knew I saw you. I saw you clearly. Now I have come to take what rightfully belongs to me, a Sosa. You know my name, because I was almost killed in your place, dummy. I don't know why you are here. I don't know anything about you. I have not taken anything from you. Please, leave my husband's house, and I want it now. I have nothing that belongs to you. Are you done running with Uyi? Will you go back to your Uyi? Go back to where you are coming from? Or has he dumped you? What are you doing here? I thought you wanted to kill Nosa and be with him. That fool deceived me. He had children and, and, and he didn't tell me about them. Why am I even explaining to you? Listen to me, I don't care about what you're doing here. I don't care about anything. You just have to go. And I give you three days to pack your things and leave my husband's house else. And I'm asking you to go back to where you are coming from. I don't have your life, I am not living your life. I have come to take my own place and my position where I belong. Excuse me. You will see the last of me, you fool! Ah. I was hearing voices when you were in the, in the backyard preparing the food. Were you not alone? You were hearing voices? Yes, as if, if you are talking with, with some people. Okay, um, yes, I, I, I was alone. I was um, reciting what my mother taught me when I was much younger. Hmm. You see my wife, eh? I have not really had the time to thank you. To thank you for becoming my wife. And I think this is the best time for me to, to tell you this. I am so happy. I am so, so happy that you are my wife. And that you have given me the opportunity to prove to you that I am indeed the best husband any woman can have. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my husband. I love you too. And I love you with my life. I will fight for this love to the end of my time. Loving you is, it's, it's giving me air that I breathe. I love you, my husband. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, just thank you for when you wait, when you speak like this, you give me the appetite to eat. Eat and eat again. <laughs> Look at you. What are you pacing around looking for? They really say there is no peace for the wicked. Miserable human being. You want to live my life, right? You want to have everything that I have. Stupid thing. There is no peace for the wicked. Which? As long as I am the only one miserable in this house, I don't care. It's okay. What I will not have you do is to make Nosa unhappy again because I will not take it. It's okay. I will fight you with the last fiber of my blood. 
and I promise Nusa that I will do everything to make him happy. I am not going anywhere. I am staying back and I intend to keep it. And I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Stupid thing. You still even have mouth to talk after stealing my husband. By the way, are we twins? I don't know. Don't ask me. That means you are fake and I am real. That's why you want to live my life, but you will never. You can never. Stupid thing. Why are you running? No, come and stand. Who are you talking with? Actually, the, the, the... What are you holding? Oh, your favorite. I ran into your favorite and I... I urgently decided to buy for you because I know you will like it. You have always... You say that you love it so much. Like... Uh, what is your problem? This is your favorite. Please take it away. You know I don't like it and you are... Stop this thing you're doing. Cover it! Why are you? I don't, why are you confusing me? You, you told me that this is your favorite, that you like it so much. You were actually eating it, actually enjoying it, and that's why I bought it for you. I'm sorry. I, I, I think because of my pregnancy, my craving is is is, is really different. See, it's no. We are not talking about your craving for food. I am talking about you becoming sick about a particular food. Something that you said you like. And, uh, you are just confusing me. That is it. It's okay now. We are still talking about the matter. Okay, so we should stand here now. We're talking about being bored. You're still up. Cover this thing now. Uh-uh. But it's your feel for it. I need to go and water the plants at the back. What kind of confusion is this? This is this big boy. She said she like it. I want my clothes back. You have to give it back to me now before he suspects. I want it now. Very good. I think this is a perfect plan. I hope you have not gone to spoil my perfect plan with your woolly behavior. And I hear you speak very rudely to your husband. I had a little bit exchange of words with him. And that was because of you. I don't know why the food I detest most in my life is your favorite meal. You have to leave so I can undo all the stupid things you have done. I need my life back. I didn't take your life in the first place. I didn't meet you in this house. I am enjoying my own life. I am going nowhere. My good friend, I am sorry to be dragging you into this. But I have a reason for doing that. Because the way things are going, hey, if I fail to confide in someone, I, I might actually go crazy. It's all right. Well, what, what are friends for? You can't find finding me. Talk to me. What is the problem? I don't know if madness is the right word for me to use, but I'm going to say this. From what happened yesterday, I felt that I spent the day with the old and the new ice okay. <laughs> Different individuals. Oh, that's a, that's a, you sound as if <laughs> they are two different women. Eh? What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> that's why I'm so afraid. Mm. Okay. I watched her reaction mm. towards a male that was her favorite before she lost her memory. Mm. The way she reacted. And then when I decided to question her, she was actually very rude. Very, very rude to me. Just like the old ice hockey. Okay. I am afraid. No. Nessa, don't be afraid. If Isoka's uh, attitude is your worries, then brace up to face more worries. Because this is the cross you have to bear. It's okay, it's still the same, it's okay. Please face the worries yourself. Hey. Even you, my friend, you are not the, you are not if you are not getting this thing, who then will get it? But 
people then will get it. If you're my friend who's supposed to understand, if you have refused to understand, who then will understand this? Yes, sir. I need to ask you a question. How do you feel? Like, how do you really feel staying in somebody's house? You are really comfortable. If you don't take time, I will expose you. What should I be afraid of? I'm asking you, what exactly should I be afraid of? Now listen to me. You, you always claim you are the real wife you are, you are whatever you say you are. Yet you couldn't make Nosa happy. I, Esosa, came into your home and I brought real happiness and joy. I am not leaving this house. You can say whatever you want to say, that's your business. Now listen to me. I just want you to know that I will bring you down. Feel free to try. Because if I go down, you go down too. I know your secrets. What secrets are you talking about? Oh, you think I don't know? You think I don't know? If you don't stop this, your madness, I will shock you. You are trying to outdo a married woman in her husband's house. That is madness and you are mad. If you fail to readjust your stupidity, I will blow your cover. How will I explain that I'm not who you've been? What will I do to be with you forever? Please don't let it go. What we share together. Please don't let it flee away uh, What we've been through uh, And I wish this could last forever See her running her mouth as if it's her house. Is he your husband? What were you doing at the back? You're cooking. Eh? So you now feed Nusa three times. You just came here to spoil everything for me. It's okay. I am helping you do your duties. You should be happy for that. Please, I don't want trouble. Get out. I need a favor from you. That's why I'm here. Which is just one minute. I need just one minute to stay with my husband. And I'm going to serve him the food that you prepared. That's all I ask of you. And then I'll decide if I still want to marry him or not. What are you trying to do? It's okay, what are you trying to do? If you sabotage me, I will tell the villagers how you try to kill your husband. You better be a good girl. I am glad you called him my husband. Are you doing it or not? Do or not do? Hi. Honestly, I pity this woman. This woman lost her child because she was not able to afford the money that the herbalist was asking for. Mm -hmm. And all the people she ran to asking for help None of them could give her the money to save her child, and the child died. I pity her so much. Had it been she came to the plantation, oh, oh, everybody knows I would have given her that money to save her child. And you did not pity my mother. You didn't pity my mother. You allowed her to use me to pay her debt. Hmm? You didn't pity my mother. You know what? Don't even talk to me. Don't even do see anything about your money, your plantation, or whatever you have. Keep that conversation to yourself. 
You remember that? Is your memory returning? No, I, I... Are you praying for my memory not to come back? No, sir, did you do anything to me? Did you do anything to me? But, listen, I didn't do anything. I, I am just trying to understand. You hated me so much before that incident. We couldn't have quality conversation without fighting. It was always fighting, fighting, fighting. But when you lost your memory, you became the best wife any man could wish for. I don't care. I do not care. No, sir, I don't care. Save your conversations to yourself. Don't even come close to me. Don't touch me. Don't talk. Don't even say anything to me. And don't forget, when you come inside this room, hmm, take your position on the floor. You are sleeping on the floor today. And let me lie down under my space. What is going on? Should I now pray for her memory not to ever return? Because that is the only time she behaves like a wife. You woke up early. I hope you enjoyed your sleep after making me sleep on the floor. I'm, I'm very sorry, my husband. I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. Is it the bite and the fragment of the memory loss that is making you to behave cold towards me? Can I get to understand what is going on? Are you... Are you going to open up to me? I have apologized. Several times that I am sorry, that I am so sorry for making you my wife because of your mother's indebtedness. How else will I explain this to you? My husband, you keep saying you're sorry. I am also sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry. I'm sincerely sorry. So are you promising me here and now that you will open up to me on the reason you have been so cold towards me? Are you going to give me a reason for this mood swing? Why you are happy and suddenly you will become so sad? Are you promising me that you will tell me why you have been unhappy? Can I at least get to know why? I promise. I promise I will tell you every single thing that you need to know. I promise you that. Please, you need to go now. Business calls. How will I explain that I'm not who you think? What will I do to be with you forever? Please don't let it go. What we share together, please don't let it flee away. I know it's past your lunch period, so that was why I asked you out. You look worried. Is it about your wife again? My good friend, I, I have this feeling I am living with two different women. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Last night, who kicked me out of the bed and forced me to sleep on the floor is actually different from the one who said goodbye to me this morning as I was going to work. <laughs> this sounds crazy to me. Sounds crazy to me. Yes, I can understand uh, uh, the state of mind. Two different women, one with memory loss, the other one after memory loss. Look, oh, please, my friend. Be very careful, though, because of your state of mind, though. I know. 
I know I might be sounding crazy, but the more I try to dismiss this as a joke, the more it dawns on me that I may be right. The issue of last night was very mean, very brutal, just as difficult as the old issue But the one this morning, very jovial, very loving, very calm, understanding, well, hard working, just as the perfect wife. You know, when I wanted her to explain why she kicked me out of the bed last night, mm. the way she reacted actually showed that she was not the one who committed the crime. Honestly, my good friend, eh, I am living with two different women. I still believe it's a case of memory loss. This is the same one person. One before the memory loss and one after the memory loss. It's you. It's your state of mind. It's your state of mind. Listen, listen, listen. You better enjoy your meal. Eh? Don't, don't, don't go crazy about this. Yeah, the confusion, this look, look, look at this, this lovely meat we used to enjoy. The confusion is not even allowing the meat to taste any better in my mouth. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Forget it. It's okay, it's still it's okay. <laughs> my friends, how are you? I really missed you. I am fine. You look pale and slim. Tell me, is this the effect of pregnancy? I think I've been really, really stressed up recently. Thank you. Um, there's something I need to ask you. Okay. Um, if your husband, hmm, his ex, comes back to him and then threatens you to leave the relationship, will you leave the relationship or the marriage? Well, I do not know who you are talking about in this situation. But I will give you my honest and sincere answer. You know, love does not come easy. And when you find love, you hold it tight. You fight for it. So, she is his past. And you are his present. The past is the past. Okay. Thank you so very much. Um, when you find love, hold on to it. And don't let it go, right? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hope all is well with you. Yes. What are you doing here again? You just left 30 minutes ago and here you are telling me you missed me. Oh, we just spoke. Uh, yes. Um, can't I miss my friend? I miss you so much. That's why I'm here. I came to ask you a question I forgot. Um, can I ask you? Okay, go ahead, I'm listening. Okay, um, for example, you're married. And then something took you out for a very long time. Like, you've not been around, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Only for you to return, and then you found out that your husband is in love with another woman. What would you do? If you love your husband and want to keep your home, then you fight for it. Get rid of the other woman. Love does not come easily. When you find one, you hold it tight. Okay, okay. Thank you so very much. I will love my husband and I will hold him for the rest of my life. Yeah. Thank you good. so much. Thank you. Um, Talk to you later. You this stupid girl. Don't you ever summon me like that again. Do you understand? I am the real one here, in case you have forgotten. 
a real wife will never send a husband out of his own bed. What is wrong with you, Isoke? Every little opportunity I give to you, you just want to spoil it for me. You have carried your bad character now to go and start disturbing Nusa. Is it right? And he will notice it. Do you want to put me in trouble? How is that your business? How is that your business? I told you I am taking my marriage back to how it used to be. You have taken this man and you put him in a situation or a level where he does not belong. What is wrong with you? You want to send your marriage back to where? Back to hell? Where it was? I promised Nusa. I told him he would enjoy what true happiness is. He has already started enjoying it and it's not going back. So you disappear with your, with your big head. Says who? Says the fake one to the real one. It must be a very big joke. Now, don't cause problems for me. Just take your things and disappear. I am the one carrying his baby, so he has no choice than to choose me. Don't be stupid. And you haven't seen where the child of a mistress is given to the wife to take care of. You haven't seen it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, thank you. <laughs> you know I'm happy seeing you every time. This is yeah. the this is the, exactly the way you like it. That's right. I prepared it that way. Thank you. Thank um, you. If you need another thing, um, I'm ready to serve you. It's all right. It's all right. This will do. All right. This will do. Thank you so much. You're mm -hmm. Join me. <laughs> I'm sorry the way I called you out, but I needed to share something with someone. What I'm about to say mm. sounds crazy. Or I'm really going crazy. Oh, feel free to talk to me. Listen, I've heard a lot of crazy things lately that I have developed this skin for crazy thoughts. Crazy, crazy things. Now, listen, even in my brain here, eh, I have an antidote for crazy talk. So, feel free to talk to me. What is it? I think... My best friend is two. I mean, there are two Isokes. Uh. The boat visited me the same day. In 30 minutes interval. Asking me the same question. In a reversed manner. <laughs> I hope I'm not going crazy. Are you sure of what you're saying? This, this, this sounds something. It sounds... What my friend Nusa told me. He believes that he has he has two different women in his house. One is okay, is is restrictive, uncouth, insultive. Why the other one? So jovial, loving, hardworking, the kind of wife he 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 married. And he loved. And I said, well, I can't dodge. <laughs> this is beginning to make sense to me. Mm. <sighs> this is why they visited me the same day, wearing different clothes. No, this can't be true. Mm -mm. I think I'm going crazy. No, no, you see, you yes. see. We should not jump into conclusion because we have not caught both of them. Let us wait until we get both of them together. Hold them! Then we can now say, ah, you are this, you are that. So don't let us jump into conclusion. Okay? Okay. Let's so enjoy so. this meet. Hmm? You sure I don't want? I'm 
Don't expose that to me. Tell everyone that she's fake and leave you understand what is going on. Where? I have a baby that is supposed to be growing inside here. This baby is not kicking. Why is this baby not kicking? Because the baby is sleeping. That is why the baby is not kicking. That's why you woke me up. I don't understand. How? How do you want to make a baby is, is sleeping? Baby, how can baby be sleeping? Is that something you're not telling me? Yes. What I am not telling you is that you see this constant touching of my tummy is getting me angry. Don't do it again. That's why you woke me up. Yeah, because I'm monitoring the I'm just monitoring the baby. No, sir, please don't try this thing again. Don't do it again. No. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's just that uh, I, I, I don't know why the baby will not be kicked. Okay. Let it just be that the baby is sleeping, like you said. Why would my own baby be the one that is sleeping? Huh? My own baby be the one that is sleeping. It's okay. Anytime we plan something, or I, 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 I cause problem, I'm always the one to apologize. I'm tired of all these things. I am very tired. You're causing problems for me. Can't you be a nice person? I can never be a good person. I can never. By the way, you are the fake person here, not me. You're making me sad. What is it? If you are not here marrying my husband, are we supposed to be having this conversation? Are we? Okay, I think at this point we have to end it now. You're not going to cause problems for me, are you? I'm begging you, please. Let's end this whole thing once and for all. Fine! Fine, let's end it here and now. Because with the way you are behaving right now, my mother has caught you. Nosa doesn't know and Adesua doesn't know. And very soon I know they are going to find out. Let's end it here and now. Yes, let's end it now. I am tired. Go back to your Uye. Both of you should just disappear into the thin air. I will remain here with my husband because I am pregnant for him. You shut up your mouth say you are very stupid. You will go back to your village. That is exactly where you are going to. Go back to your village because they are looking for you. You stole chicken. Go back there. Thief. Okay, now let me tell you this and get it into your thick, big, round head. It's okay. I, Esosa, I am not going anywhere. I am here. Think if one, yeah, just because he's so okay and he's angry with me for hiding my children from her does not mean that we will not be together. You have children. I just, you said you love is okay and you were cheating on her. Uh, that's one of those incidents, and I don't have to explain myself to you, but you should be concerned because at the end of the day, you don't know which of the women. You've been living your life with. 
What the nonsense are you talking about? Which woman are you talking about? Which oh. woman? Oh, you've not figured out the difference between both of them. You've not. And yet, Isoke blames me for not recognizing her. Even when the man that is marrying her could not recognize or, 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 the, the both of them. Wait, wait, what? Uji, can you speak clearer than this? I mean, could this be that one time in your life you are going to speak like a normal human being? Are you possibly saying that I have two women in my life? It's okay has warned me to always watch what comes right from my mouth. So it's not from this mouth that you hear uh, uh, that wind blow and foul nyash open. Not from this mouth. On my way to this place, I ran into him. And he said something I have been thinking lately, but I think dismissing as crazy. But having a counter to him, what do I say? Are you not as true? Or I mean, are they like twins? What sort of a silly question is that? It's not like only one. She doesn't even have any sister anywhere. Why are you suddenly asking something very crazy? Because I am practically going crazy. I, I, I have this feeling I am living with two different women. Is there something you know that you are not telling me? I wish I had access to the question. But sometimes there's something one has to figure out. I'll just give it time. Give it time for you to have answers to this question you ask. I mean, time. Sent for me. Are you okay? Is everything alright? I want to ask you a question. Do you love me? I'm asking because if you love me, you will not make me look like a fool. Is there something that is going on that I need to know? Are you... it's okay? Why you add a question mark to my name? Am I it's okay? Yes. I want to know. My husband, what is going on? I know I have not regained my memories completely. But asking me this question... It's... it's... it's really annoying. And this is not funny. What is going on? So... You are Isoke? You are that woman who I married? Good. I, I want to find out. Is there another woman that is sharing this house with us? I mean, is there another woman that is sharing even your husband with you, to the best of your knowledge? Who are you talking to? Because I need to know what is going on. Who is feeding you with this nonsense? Who is talking to you? Oh, God, God. My husband, you know I love you so much. You know how much I love you. Search your heart. You will know who is real and who is fake. All I ask is for you to listen and follow your heart. 
because there lies the truth. I'm sorry for arriving late. Mm. Okay. I simply needed to find a convincing excuse I will give her so that she will not follow me. It's okay. Listen, eh? I found out I am not crazy after all. There are two of them. Yes, two of them. Yes, but what we do not know is who is who. Who is the real is okay and the fake one? And the game they are up to. What I don't know is why are both of them after you? Uh, I don't know, man. Because I think that the original one will come to you and say, ah, my husband, I am the original one. This one is fake and she's threatening to, 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 to take, take my life. Ego said, my friend, the same question I asked is okay. The same question. And she told me that she is my original wife. Mm -hmm. And the way she said it, I believed her. Then again, I, get, I got confused. When she again told me that I, I have to follow my heart to know what is fake and what is not fake, mm. it was at that point that it dawned on me that indeed I have been seeing two women. Mm. That's it. I thought these things only happen in the imaginary world. But to think of experiencing it gives me shivers. Hey, and how far these women can go about their life? Huh. Imagine the one who is in the center of it all. Me. Eh? Wow. Somebody should be having pity on the one that is in the center of it. Me. See how dirty the place is. Stupid girl. Can't even sweep. When I was here, I take care of this comfort for you. It's okay, what are you doing? Please, you need to go now. I don't want troubles. Nosa is not working today. He's off work. Please leave. I have come to take my place. I am tired of staying outside my husband's house. Just in case. You have this at the back of your head and inside your thick skull that you have something to hold on to. But I, I tried to kill you, sir. It will not work. You know why? Because you have no proof. I am not someone you can get rid of easily. Not even those I can send me out of this place. You know why? Because I am pregnant and I am carrying it. So I have a lot to stay in this house for. I really underestimated you. You? You are too small for me. If I knew before now, I would have killed you like a rat and buried your body at the back. And then I would pretend like I was the one pregnant, that I have a miscarriage. And then before you know it, you are dead and gone. But my conscience will not allow me. My good heart will not allow me. I see you have a soft spot for killing. Killing is your weapon, right? Now let me warn you, you cannot kill me. A woman who left the whole village and the community cannot even hold down. You want to kill me, you cannot do that. You are not coming back to this house. And you know what? I am going to remain in this house as a Sosa and not as a Soke. Please excuse me. A Sosa! A Sosa! We shall see. What are you still doing here? I am the original wife. Leave! Pack your load and I go out! I going anywhere. You are a big disgrace to the world of women. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in that house and this is where I remain. You will go. Yes! I will not I am go. You, you go! go. I will you, are. you must hey, hey, go! Hey, hey, stay, where, stay where you are. So I have not been crazy all this while. That means I have not been hallucinating. There are actually two of you. Right? I am very sorry, Nusa. 
I tried to tell you, but anytime I, I want to talk, you always look for a way to shut me up. And then I discovered you, you, you were very happy with me. I didn't want to shut your happiness. I didn't want to be the one that will make you sad. I'm very sorry, please. Please forgive me, please. Which of you is this okay? The one I married. The one I paid on. Which of you? Me. I am Miss Okay. I am the one you swore to love and fight for. And I told this witch to go! Go! So, the pregnant one, who is the pregnant one? The one who has been pretending that she has memory loss. That must be you. What is your name? My name is Esosa Igumbo. I live in the neighboring village. I am the one carrying your child. And your child grows inside of me. Please, Nosa, you know I love you. This girl does not love you. She tried to kill you. If you loved me like you claim, you wouldn't have made a fool out of me. You wouldn't have done to me the things you have done to me so far. Both of you are evil. I can actually say that you are both the evil twins. I want her to leave. That she's living my life, but she refused. Go! Leave my husband alone. She has to go. Please, I can't go. I don't have anywhere to go, please. I, I, I am pregnant of your baby and this is the sign of our love, please. This girl only came back because we rejected her. I'm sorry, please. Shut up, both of you. Shut up! Plus, is equally very important. Of course. I know it's okay that I married. Who never loved me? Made every effort to make my life very miserable. Even at a point, wanted to kill me. Yes, and you. Ezosa, claiming that you are pregnant, deceiving me, lying to me all this while. Now you're telling me that you love me. I don't understand what is going on. What do you want from me? Who will I be listening to now? Who will I trust that? Who will I believe in now? No, sir. Thank God you have not gone crazy. Hey, now to think of it that there were two women all this while. Ah, women are scary. You can actually say that again. I'm telling you, you can say that again. You know, I keep wondering how it is that my first wife was actually sharing her man with a look-alike. Hmm. You are just very scary indeed. So what are you going to do now? You, you, you can't live with two of them. You have to send one away. Because those women, they are ready to kill themselves. Uh, my very good friend, you know it yourself that I cannot send the original one away. Because she's my original wife. And again, I cannot send the second one away because she's carrying my child. So as it is, I am stuck with the two women. Mm, you can't be stuck with the two women. Listen to me, my good friend. No, sir. Send one away. Stay with one. Because of your life, fool. Oh, so that you can live long to see your gray hair. No. A woman who I married as a wife of my youth mm. is my original wife. I am stuck with her. Nobody's and the one who that. is carrying my child. I was about to ask if you are Isoke or Isosa, but from your willingness to help, I can tell you are Isosa. Isoke is not so nice. Okay, uh, everybody knows we are two now, so you even know my name. Everybody in the village is talking about how the richest farmer got married to two women that looks alike. Now tell me, has he decided who stays or who leaves? Nobody leaves. Yes, we are all under one roof. But I fear for my life. It's okay, it's... 
she's, 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 she's threatening me. She keeps threatening me and keeps telling me that my husband is keeping me in the house because of my baby. And that when I get the baby, she will send me out. I fear for my life. My friend, I've known Isoka for so long. She cannot bring any harm to you or on your born child. Okay? I hope so, my friend. I do. I fear for you. What did she come to? Or oh, she has come to brag because my husband is supporting her and because she's carrying this child? I know you're my best friend. But Esosa is also my friend. And for us to live in peace and get along equally, I have vowed never to discuss Esosa with you. Non discuss you with Esosa. Anything we say here shall remain a secret. The same thing applicable to Esosa. Esosa is now your friend. Somebody you just met, she's now your friend. Now where does your loyalty lie? You met me first, right? A friend to somebody that just came all of a sudden to take my life. I am sorry if you feel disappointed at me right now. But I have to be honest with you. You and Esosa should find a common ground and be in peace. I mean, there is no man worth dying for. Even my husband? Yes. Come on, my friend. Did you wash my clothes? Yes, I did. You don't like them? Did I send you? Did I send you? Why did you do that? Oh, you think because I'm in the same house with you, managing you and sharing the same roof with you, you think you can just come and wash my clothes? Who are you looking for favor from? Can you ever just stay in a stable place without fighting? Is it possible for you to find peace in your heart? Is it like, is it possible? Please, I'm begging you. I don't want trouble, just go. You looked for my trouble the very day you got pregnant for my husband. Just because we share the same face does not mean we can share the same man. You fool. You better go back to where you're coming from. Then you stole chicken. Get out! Listen, ladies. I am the one who is going to address this issue. Because if my friend here should speak, he might be accused of taking sides. Ah, by making me stand here. In judgment with this idiot standing in front of me. Ah, you have already taken sides too. You have already taken sides. I am the wife here. I should be the one to save my husband's food, not this goat. You cannot save your husband because you truly do not love him. You are very stupid to be the one telling my husband who to love and who not to love. What do you know about love? I might not know much about love, but you will not save the food that you did not cook. As simple as that. Can we, can we just stop all this nonsense? I am the man who is in the center of all this. Mm -hmm. And I already made a statement that I want peace. Can we just understand that that peace is very important? It is very, very important. Very important. Because if he cannot have peace in this house, then I'm afraid he might be forced to go and bring in another woman who will give him peace of mind. Inside which house is the woman coming? There's nobody coming to this house. And you must be made to know that you cannot come into this house to take my place. Nobody's taking away your husband. I have come to take my place.
as one who is already carrying my child. I mean, as the one who has become pregnant for me and has made me complete as a man, I keep asking myself, have I been doing enough for you? My husband, you can't be asking this kind of questions. You do a lot. In fact, you're even doing too much. <laughs> you have done a lot. And I totally appreciate you. You know, you say the nicest of things. I have a lot of plans for you. So many plans for you. And let me tell you, you will never regret becoming pregnant for me. And I will forever love you for the rest of my life. Hey. Beautiful sister. What is it? Are you okay? What is it? You're not looking okay. My tummy. Are you hurting? What? My hey. tummy. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? My stomach. Ah! No, sir. You're just standing there looking at her. Can't you see she's bleeding? Hold on, let me call the herbalist. Just manage and see that. Just manage and see that. How are you feeling now? I feel very it, terrible. You know, you, you lost the pregnancy. But I want you, you know, to feed the stop because I am sure that very soon you will have another baby. It is not long the herbal is left here. And uh, he left the herb that you will be drinking to regain your lost strength and the lost blood. I don't know why I blame myself for all this. I killed my baby. I killed my child out of my carelessness. I feel so terrible. I want you to focus on how you are going to regain your strength. Trust me, you will have another baby soon. You, you must be feeling very hungry. I prepared something already. So let me get something to eat. So, sir, I am very sorry for what happened to you. Please don't cry again. Hmm? It seems it's very easy for you to take him. Hmm? Don't worry, you will get pregnant again. But this time, it will not be for my husband. Hmm? I know you killed my baby. The gods will punish you. You. The gods will punish you, I promise you. You will never hear the cry of a child. Are you laying curses on me? No, did you just... Did you just lay curses on me? The gods are already punishing you because you stole my husband. You haven't started to believe that you leave this house. Please. 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 Come, you have changed it into something else. Oh, <laughs> I threw up a little. I messed myself up, so I had to change. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And you're eating the beans ball. Mm -hmm. I thought you just said you, you, you don't like it. I realized I shouldn't have rejected it. I mean, you bought this out of love. Hmm. And you like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are actually enjoying it. You like to be with you forever. What? He is beginning to forgive her. He even took out time to buy her her favorite meal. When last did he buy anything for me? This used to be Nusa that is crazy over me, begs me, and takes care of me. He buys anything I ask him of. Now, I have a fake chicken thief from another village getting my husband's love, not when I am alive. So what is this idiot still doing here? What is she still doing in this house? Because I am the one you married though. I am the one you married. I am the real wife in this house. Why is this girl still here? Does it mean you don't have a heart? Are you even a human being at all? Can't you see that a sister here has been through a lot? That she needs all the support we can give her as a family? Why are you always doing this? Is she the first to lose a child? Is she the first to lose a child in the whole village? Is she the first? Let me warn you, and I'm warning you again. The only thing that is keeping her in this house is gone. What is she still doing here? You better pack a load and get her from this house. It's okay. Are you happy that I lost my child? Don't tell me you have a hand in the death of my baby. Now this is so outrageous. How could you act? Like, are you accusing me of killing your child? I don't know. I don't know and I'm asking myself the same question. So, if my child is dead, does it mean I should be gone by now? It's okay. I am not leaving this house until Nusa asks me to. For fat face. When I'm ready for you, you will know. Don't worry. See both of you. Yes, yes, And I am telling you here and now that I will never ask you to leave. Come and sit down. Leave is okay. You've been through it. A lot already. It don't allow her to be distracting you. Calm down. You go say my good friend. Yes, sir. You know, I understand the reason you stopped coming to my house. And honestly, I do not hold it against you. Mm. Because there is no man who a woman will insult that way who will not do exactly what you did. So it's alright, my sir. It's alright. I, I am sorry about the death of your unborn child. I'm sorry about that. I, I know what you're going through, but emotionally, and I, I understand. I understand. Please accept my sympathy. I'm sorry. Honestly, I am devastated. I can imagine it. You know, I was looking forward to being a father. Mm. And everything just crumbled. Hmm. Esosa is actually the worst hit. Ha, ah, my beautiful wife. She suffered physical and emotional torture. And as we speak, she has not managed to recover. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there is this thing I want to ask of you. And I don't expect you to swallow it hook, line, and sinker. What could that be? No, sir. Now that Esosa is no longer carrying your dog, your baby, and she is not your legitimate wife, what is she still doing in your house? Why is she still under your roof? Let her go. 
Let her go and you pick up your life. Why are you the one that is saying this? Is everything not all about the happiness? Esosa is the one who makes me happy. Esosa is that woman who came into my life as my wife and I started to understand what a wife means in the life of a man. She brought everything. She gave me peace of mind. She gave me the best of meal. She gave me every single thing. And you are telling me this? If I should ever send that kind of woman out of my house, there should be a legitimate reason I have to tell the people. As I speak to you, I have not managed to see any legitimate reason to send her out. Yes, that was very well. Well, I wasn't expecting you to say otherwise. Well, I am happy that I am not living your life. I pray the gods will help you make a wise decision. Yeah. That's my prayer for you. And if, if, if for me to believe you are praying, you should actually take a ram. Take a ram to the deity and pray for me. As my friend. It's not, it's not laughing. No, it's, it's not a laughing. No, it's something that you should do. Okay. I should go and look for a ram. Yes. <laughs> That's what you do for your friend. Oh. not possible. I know my husband. He eats the best of meals. This cannot happen to my husband. No. Besides, he is a great farmer. If I slap you now, eh? If I if I slap you, were you not the one that prepared his last meal? Only the gods know if you poison his meal. What? How can, how can you say that? How can I poison the man I love so much? Wicked soul. Oh, I will be leaving now. But do not forget to clean him with those herbs I gave to you every morning and night. And also force him to drink it. This you must not forget. Uh, in the meantime, look for some villagers that can help you take him in. No, it is you, it's okay. Not a Sosa. Because a Sosa just left my house a few minutes ago. What is wrong with you? Okay, now look at me very well. Does it look like something is wrong? What did she come to your house to do? She told me Nosa is very sick. And she she's scared that she might lose him. 
and she cannot be able to save him either. She wishes if the gods can take her instead of him because he's a good man. That girl is a pretender. The same way she pretended for my husband. And now she's carrying my husband's baby inside of her. I am not here to talk about a dying man. Well, I have to sell his properties. All his lands. Are you serious? You want to sell off everything that he worked for? What will a dead man be doing with lands and his properties? I am his original wife. I have everything that he has. Everything belongs to me right now, so I can sell it. How did I become friends with this heartless person? How can you be calling someone who is breathing well dead instead of you to pray to the gods to save him? And here you are, wishing him dead. Okay, now can you save this good girl's speech for a sosa? Are you getting me a buyer or not? <sighs> okay, I'll get you a buyer. Just give me one market day. Mm. Let me look for someone that will buy it. That will buy it well. Mm -hmm. Very good. I knew you were going to do that for me. Um, meanwhile, in case you're still trying to figure out how we became friends, it's left for you to figure that out. Excuse me. Whatever you want to use it for your family, it's not our business now. It's not my business. Just buy it, give me my money. That's what I want. It's okay. Whatever I want to use it for, it's not my business now. I will pay you. And so you will now bring the money. For what time? I need it urgently. It's okay. What do you think you are doing? Nosa is not dead. You know. He will still wake up, I strongly believe. This you are about to do now, it's very wrong. How do you feel, Nosa will feel, if he finds out that you sold the property his parents gave to him? He will never be happy. It's okay, think. Think. Look at this one. Just look at this idiot. I should think. You should be thinking. Do not let me attack you now. If I deal with you here now, you will vanish to your village that they are looking for you. They want to use you for sacrifice. You better go back. Now, this is where you got it all wrong. It is not about me. It is not about you. It is about Nusa. Nusa will never be happy if he wakes up and finds out that you have sold his inherited land. I'm begging you, please. Sir, please don't do this to Nusa. Please. Please, I'm begging you. So what do you want to do to me? You want to beat me? No, you want to fight me. You want to fight me now. Or do you want to kill me? Tell me what you want to do to me. I will slap you out of the surface of the earth. Is she your sister? No. How can she be my sister? I don't even know her. Epa, please. I don't want this rubbish now. Please help me bring that money. Go and bring the money for me. Okay, okay. Let me... Uh, bring it now. Uh, let me get it. Sir, please. What are you still doing here? I promise you, you will regret this. I did not steal your husband from you. I did not kill your husband. I did not take anything from you. Get out from here! Your smelling body. Get out! <laughs> This 
you and what have you done? I have gone to bring your husband's best friend to stop you. Who? Do you think he can stop me? I have not only come to stop you. I have come to tell you that you are not moving an inch. Look at you. You squander your husband's money. You, you steal his money. You destroy his property. You, you destroy his, his business. And you want to run away. No way. Listen to me. You, you told us that you love him. So what has love got to do with a dead man? He is dead. I have to do this before that stupid associate does that. All his properties are mine. So go to hell if you do. I know it. Ah! So your plan was actually to kill me. And have everything that belongs to me. You know, when you asked me to send a suicide away, I was thinking that you have decided to become a woman. I was thinking you have decided to go back to that semi soke that I married, who I loved with everything in me. Little did I know that there is no love anywhere in you, that you are not ever able to love anything or anybody except yourself. Oh, this is not happening. They have only said you are dead. I am sorry for bringing us here. But you see, eh? there is no other more private place in this land for us to have this discussion, if not this place. Hope all okay. is well. You look worried. All is well. But... To tell you the truth, all is not so well. What is it? Isoke is my original wife known by all. Mm -hmm. But Isosa is that wife who gives me peace, who takes care of me. And uh, people are waiting and they are watching to know what will happen. And because of that, I have decided to put both of them to test. Test? Yes. What test are you talking about? Listen, everybody, you, you, you already know who the good cook is. And then your original wife. So what test are you talking about, Musa? I want to fake that I am sick mm. or that I, that I am dead. God forbid. Okay. No, 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 I am not dead. I, I say fake. So that when it happens, mm. I will be able to know their true intentions. And if, if there is anyone who has a motive, it will be known. And then it will help me to make a decision. Well, this is a brilliant idea. I promise to seal my mouth till when you get your results. Good. Good. How may I be of help? No, all you need to do is just keep silent. If any one of them should come to you for help, let me know. But the most important thing is, we must safeguard the life of my friend. That is it. Nothing must happen to Musa. That is it. Listen, eh? thank you very much, uh, Musa and Adesua. I, I thank you. I called both of you here because I know from the depth of my heart that both of you are the only people I can trust. I know it so well that I am asking you for something that is so big. But please, do this for me. It is just for my own life. Consider it. Eh? Okay. Just consider it done. Yes. Please, my husband, I beg you, please. I, I, I mean, the herbalist told me you were dead, and I, I saw you. You were actually lying down. You were, you were not moving. I, 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 I saw you. You know, a good wife is supposed to take care of the husband. The good wife has the job of nursing her husband back to good health when he becomes sick. In your own case, you decided to declare me dead even when I was still alive. You see, that very day you declared me dead was the day you died in my life. 
at you. You just your own hand to cause trouble for yourself. You won't hear me. You will never listen. My husband, please, I'm begging you, please. I, 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 I don't mind staying in the same house with her. I, I, will, I will manage her, please. Uh, but I mind having you under my own roof. It is not possible. You see this marriage that I once had in high esteem, the marriage I once cherished, that marriage has ended. You see this one that is standing here with me, she is my wife. Go back to your mother and start a life if you can. This is a decision I have made and nothing can change it. Don't come anywhere near me. Don't come anywhere close to me. I am so sorry to have pretended to be dying. I know what you went through, taking care of me and crying most nights. I even heard you prayed that the gods should take you instead of me. What a love. I wouldn't have forgiven myself had it been that happened. You're the only man I have ever loved. And you're the only man that has ever loved me right. I just wish the gods would take my life instead. Can you just stop talking about dying? Because you are not going anywhere. We have life to live together. And I, I believe we are going to raise wonderful children together. And on that note, I want to ask you. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I've always wanted to hear this. Thank you. You know, you are that one woman who came into my life and made me understand what love is all about. We are going to proceed to your village. I want to make all the sacrifices that are required for you to earn the forgiveness you deserve. You see, I want to right all the wrongs. I want to see you happy and fulfilled again. I'm ready to work with you. Good. 
I love you so much. I and love you too, my husband. And I'm going to love you for the remaining days of my life. 